Golf Channel and the LPGA Tour. Proudly present the season-long race to the CME Globe. From Koalina Golf Club on the island of Oahu, it's final round coverage of the Lotte Championship presented by Hershey. A look from above at the Koalina Resort and Marina, famed for the four lagoons, folks sitting out on the beach, enjoying the water sports, getting out onto the ocean here, which is always popular in Hawaii. We're at the Koalina Golf Club hosting the Lotte Championship for the fourth time. Plenty of folks coming out to watch today, many of them watching Michelle Wee, who is the defending champion here. But the big story, I suppose, apart from the trials and tribulations of that final group, the weather, which is uh, going to play a big part in this final round. Much like it's been over the first three days, windy but sunny, temperatures in the 80s. I think today, though, the wind as strong as it's been, maybe even stronger than we've seen all week. We've heard from myself, Tom Abbott, Kate Conkrell alongside me. Mark Rolfing is here with us. Jerry Foltz and Karen Stupples out on the golf course. go to the tee at the fourth and here is the final group and before they hit let's meet the final three players in our final group today hi my name is Envy Park I'm from South Korea and I have 13 wins on the LPGA tour hi I'm IK Kim and I'm from South Korea and I have three wins on LPGA tour Hi, my name is Sayang Kim. I'm from South Korea. I won a Pacific Bahama tournament this year. So an all South Korean three ball to uh, play in that final group. 17 wins combined, the majority of which come from MB Park. And Jerry Foltz is out there following this final group for us today. Tom, you speculated on the wind being stronger than all the previous days this week no question about it It was the talk on the range amongst all the players and caddies it is just brutal out here right now Jerry the golf course right now is playing over a shot and a half harder than it did yesterday not surprising that uh, well it's just not easy at all you, you, you never hit a stock shot you're trying to create something on every single shot it's uh, it's a whole different game you got to Number one, as Mark stated yesterday, first and foremost, hit the ball solidly. Uh, secondly, when you're hitting into the wind, hit it easy so it doesn't get too much spin. But always just remember which side of the green is going to save you, or which side of the fairway you're going to have a chance from, because the ball is going to do some funny things in the air. This is seven iron for IK Kim as a huge gust picks up right at the moment. I'll be surprised if she doesn't step away, although this group is already out of position. Jerry, I think at this point you just have to you have to play for the miss and just guard against an exaggeratedly missed shot and just go try to hit it the middle of the green. So it headed right at the center of the green. No chance to get it to stop. Check in with Michelle Wee at the sixth hole. This is her second. And that just short of the green. So Michelle Wee struggling there. Even pass so far. A birdie and a bogey to start the round. The rest pass. Back to the fourth and in B pass. Indy going with nine iron. Remember her irons are about a club strong. A number of manufacturers doing that, but hers are quite strong. The number on the bottom doesn't matter, just knowing how far you hit it does. I think that one pretty high in the air. Might have a chance to stop. Beautiful shot, and she's banking on the strength of her average green hit and regulation average, which is 81%. Shall we third at the sixth hole? 
needed a good Saturday round, but it didn't come for Michelle. Now she had, what, four birdies and five bogeys? Back to the fourth. And Se Young Kim. Also a nine iron for Se Young. Leads uh, amongst all the leaders in the tournament. Longest off the tee and lowest putts per green in regulation. A good combo, but today throw that all out the window. She's never won a tournament when leading through three rounds in her young career. This has potential here. Nope. Not, not a bad leave though, off the putting surface, but close to the hole location. Take a look at our tournament summary so far of the Lotte Championship. Rookie Se Young Kim leading through 54 holes, looking for a second win of the season, having won in the Bahamas. Suzanne Pedersen, the winner here two years ago, withdrew prior to Friday's round because of a shoulder injury. And MB Park could move to the second spot in the Rolex Women's World Rankings this week. Well, hello everybody and welcome to our coverage of the Lotte Championship. Uh, it's going to be a fascinating final day. The conditions, as we mentioned, are going to play a big role in this, uh, in this day. But uh, one of the things I think is going to be interesting is watching that final group because you've got three differing stories from the players in the mix there. I think it's going to be a battle of survival, both mental and physical sur survival. And going off of what Jerry Folt said, uh, Seon Kim has not won unless she's being unless she's the one chasing that's a position that she's used to and comfortable with and she acknowledges that she needs to learn how to win when she has the lead and will it happen today it didn't happen at the ANA a couple of weeks ago she shot a 75 that final round and and has said that that's a motivating factor for her, her to get back in the winner's circle MB Park obviously with 13 wins and five majors has won every way conceivable. I think she's the one to beat today. She's so steady, so solid. She has the perfect mindset for this game in good weather or bad weather. And then IK Kim is sort of everyone's favorite and hopeful to break through and get back into that winner's circle after not having won since uh, the Lorena Ocho in 2010. She survived a big test yesterday in round three, shooting a good score that, um, that has given her the chance to get it done today. Let's go out to the fifth and bring in Mark Rolf. Hey, good afternoon, Tom. This is Paula Creamer for a birdie. She really needs one right about now. It has been a tough day for her, as I believe it will be for nearly all of the competitors. Over to six. Shall we trying to save Pa? You know it's a tough day when you're looking at <laughs> long putts for Pa, Mark. <laughs> You know, if I were Michelle Wee right now, I'd take a look at that leaderboard and say, you know what, if I can get to 10 under par, I still have a chance to win. So she is definitely not out of this yet. This is Jennifer Song at the 16th hole. In one of the tougher par threes on the golf course, 186 yards today. Oh, wow, had a little look, didn't it, on the way by? Gorgeous shot with wind blowing very hard from left to right. Now back to the fourth, and IK came going with the putter from off the green. Yeah, if she were to pitch it, she'd have to get really cute to try and land it on the green. The wind would probably blow it right in doing so, even though she is putting through 15 feet of fringe at least, down the slope but into the breeze. It's uh, going to be a tough one to judge. Most players would leave this short. Fringe is going to eat it up a bit, and that wind is definitely going to be a factor. But you're right, Kay. She is the sentimental favorite amongst LPGA fans, her peers, anybody who knows her, because uh, it just seems so unfair for her career to be defined by a short missed putt at the ANA Inspiration a few years back. It'd be one thing if she missed that putt trying to win uh, a regular season event, but it was to win her first major. Patricia Kari for a birdie at the sixth hasn't gotten off to a very good start today, but Beatrice is a grinder. No give up in her game. Three bogeys in the first four holes, but back-to-back uh, -back birdies. Back to number five. This is Hyo to Kim for birdie for about four feet. And that is a good one there. Any birdie on any one of these holes it's an excellent score today. She's got two of them thus far, and she is rapidly moving up that leaderboard. Back to four. Say Young Kim had a good tee shot from just, uh, just off the green, though. But good chance for a birdie. 
Yeah, pretty good look at it here. Foot and a half a fringe, a little bit downhill again into the wind. Might go right early. Jerry, we just showed that final round score that she shot at the ANA and her front nine, two birdies and a double. Back nine, three birdies, four bogeys and a double. So a real roller coaster ride for her. It was. It wasn't pretty. But the one thing she did do is she stuck to her guns and still tried hitting the shots that were required, even though they weren't cooperating. She doesn't back down. That will serve her well over the course of her career. And we have to remember, she's just beginning her LPGA career. Sandra Gall on the eighth. She has made the best start so far from those players on the first page of the leaderboard. Three under for the day through seven holes. She finds herself only five shots back. She started at three under there, yeah. and nine shots behind. Nice yeah. little birdie okay. eagle birdie run. And this eighth hole is a beauty. It's a short par three, but it is tricky. Yesterday, it was a diabolical hole location. It was on the left-hand side, bringing the waterfall into play. Today, a relatively much more simple hole location on the right-hand side. Beautiful shot. You really have to play away from these hole locations and just get yourself on the fat part of the green and give yourself a chance. Back to number four, an MB Park for a birdie and a chance to tie the lead. Looks like it's supposed to turn right. Wind might have something to say about it, though. Wow, look how far by it's gone. Difficult final day at the Lotte Championship. A Saturday finish, the final round here at Koalina. I.K. Kim has a one-shot lead with plenty happening at the top of the leaderboard. Welcome back. We are at the fifth green, Cello Choi for Birdie, and Karen Stupples is right there. And this part should break to the right, but with this wind howling from the right, Oh, that, that, was was a that was a great putt, Mark, yeah, and this really wind. Was. It really was. And that's an excellent start for her, two under after five. We go up to six. And Christy Kerr with her approach. Was disgruntled after the second round. Sit, Sit down. Unhappy Sit. with her inconsistency, Sit. but... Sit. Go in. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. Kay. You tell him, Christy. Uh, Came back with a brilliant 67 yesterday that moved her up into the top ten chance for birdie there for Christy Kerr. Let's go to seven. You know who that is, Michelle Wee, at the seventh putting. That's never going to come close to getting there. Not a good shot at all for Michelle Wee. She might want to try and chip that one if they would give her a mulligan. They're not going to, though, I don't think. <laughs> so hard work for everybody from every place on this golf course. We go back to six. Paul of Crema for a birdie. Those two wins in Hawaii came here at Koalina back in 2008. They played three different LPGA events at Koalina, the Lotte Championship yeah. being the third. Okay, this is I.K. Kim, who has driven the ball a little bit left here at five, Jerry. Yeah, and if she's trying to get this on, she might end up regretting it. I think this is a layup, and Mark, it's going to sound weird, but the perfect layup here is at least hole high, right of the green, maybe a little past, leave a very easy pitch. It's within reach, only 211 yards to the hole, 202 to the front. No way to get it over the water and stop it, though, is there, Jerry? No, no, not, uh, I don't think, with a nine iron. Her, her target would be the right side of that building down there. And that's going to be just fine. It's going to leave a tricky, touchy little downhill yeah, chip shot. Michelle, we now for a par of seven needs to hit it firm. Not much break to this one. And quickly back to five now in B Park, her second. 177 and a seven iron. Oh, and that's a little heavy. It's going to be plenty right, though. I think she was aiming over there to give herself the best chance to make four, and that's going to be a much easier pitch than I.K. Kim. That is actually a very good spot. I think it's a better spot than being in the back bunker today. And we go back to six. And Christy Kerr should convert this to get to five under. 
Two birdies and three holes for Christy Kerr. Well, you just never know with these sort of conditions, Kay. Lead at the moment is 11 under par, but you could see it dropping back into single digits quite easily. Okay, say Young Kim now with her second. 177 yards as well, almost touching the tee shots were. She's a very aggressive player. I believe the signal was nine iron. She might be going at it. She is going at it. She went after that hard, Jerry. Oh my goodness, what, what a, a shot. shot. That is one of the best we have seen all day. She is unlucky that that went up onto the second tour and tier and didn't curl back down, but fearless shot. I.K. Kim with the lead, but say Young Kim with an eagle putt when we come back. Welcome back. This is I.K. Kim's third shot at the par five. A dog leg left pitch shot, Mark. If she were to try and take this at the hole, off this very tight lie, she'd have to bump it into the hill and it could ricochet left in the water. So she is going to try and utilize the slope right of the hole and behind it to give herself a birdie putt. No other choice here. Again, a very, very tight lie. Just a little area of the fairway that has not filled in very well. Jerry, she purposely practiced pitch shots downwind at the end of her practice session this morning before heading to the first tee. Another one of the issues here is the ball is above her feet. You have to be careful not to stick the club in the ground and sort of have the toe turn over. As Jerry said, this one could end up in the water if she pulled it just a little. No, this is going to work out. This is going to work out. Unless the wind holds it up there, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't. That is a really well-designed and well-executed shot. It's one thing, Mark, to see it, but then it's another to pull it off. Lovely. So Jerry N.B. Park now will have her third, which is actually quite a bit easier, I would think, than I.K. Kim's. No question. A little more cushion under the ball, direct line toward the flagstick. Still going to traverse down there, descend down to that lower level, but she'll land on the upper level. It'll bounce forward, should roll a little left, but the wind's going to, while this ball's in the air, the wind will push it right. It's almost blowing the flag stick out of the hole at the moment. White caps on the lake. It did push it right, way right. Not yeah. bad, though. It's not bad. I'm sure she won't be totally thrilled with it because that is not going to be an easy putt. It's just impossible to be as precise as you would normally be. Over to eight. And Michelle Wee. See all those people following her? She said last year, so appreciative of this support and the love that she feels from her fellow Hawaiians. Michelle gets to spend some time in the winter here in Hawaii. It's been a, a two-week trip this time around, having spent the week last week after the A&A inspiration to the ninth. Sandra Gall, second shot. Our first look, Mark, at this really challenging hole location back right. And that's actually not a bad leave. She's close to being on the same level and just cut across the green. We go back to six. Shallow Choi is second. Off of quite a challenging lie, but this looks like a good shot, Tom. Yeah, Ooh. big first bounce there, Karen, and it almost reaches that bunker. It just must have cut right through that wind. Okay, over at five now, Say Young Kim. This is for an Eagle Three. Just about every player in this group has stepped off of just about every single shot with these blustery winds. This is a tough one to judge. You're putting straight down cliff, but directly into the gale force wind. In normal conditions without the wind, you just touch this and it's rolling eight feet past. Rolled nicely. The wind just wouldn't let it take the break. 
That is a pretty simple birdie though, just what she needs about now. So she goes back to plus one for her final round. And once again, at the top of the leaderboard, tied with I.K. Kim. Over at seven, Paula Cream has driven the ball in the fairway. This her second shot. Mark, she was working really hard with uh, Colin watching on, trying to lower her ball flight a little bit. She already has a fairly penetrating ball flight and probably a reason that she was you know, in the mix for this tournament in these wins. Okay, back at five now. This is in B Park for a birdie. This would get her into a temporary three-way tie for the lead. Mark again downhill. Looks a little down green. I'm having a hard time seeing any break in it. I don't read him nearly as well as NB does. If anything, should fall off to the right based on the slope. But last hole, her putt did just the opposite. Jerry, we're showing a graphic that tells us she is nine under par on the par fives this week. So she has played the rest of the holes just one under. You look down at that golf ball today, and it is oscillating more times than not, even though these greens are, again, a foot slower than typical LPGA speeds, and that is because of these winds being forecasted and pretty much omnipresent in Hawaii. Playing for a little right-hand break and got it. She is tough. She is really tough. So in B Park, back to minus 11. Back over at seven now, Hyoju Kim trails by just five shots. Not a lot in a heavy wind like this. She needs to start making a few birdies though, and that's a good way to do it right there. That'd be 10 feet for her birdie. Down the hill will be a quick putt because the wind will be pushing it. But still a good chance. Now IK Kim for a birdie, and this would be for sole possession of the lead. Well, she had to move her mark for Se-Young Kim's putt, so she should have an excellent idea what this does. And like you said, the wind might just keep it from coming left. Very interesting rehearsal. It takes the putter black about one inch is all. And rehearsal's pushing it through right toward the hole. Yesterday, a couple times, as Kay noted, got a little quick in that transition. Oh, we could feel, we could feel from the booth, Jerry, that gust that just hit. She has to feel like this might be a little before our viewers' time, but hard luck Schlepprock right now from the Flintstones because every single time she gets up over it, there is a strong gust. I'm a little surprised, Jerry. She hasn't adjusted her setup and widened her stance just a little bit still. Very narrow stance for this kind of wind. Most players instinctively do that. And she has putted beautifully so far today. A couple of key par saves. And then that nice birdie. No bogeys yet. That is pretty remarkable for those first five holes. We go up to six. Chela Choi going with the putter from just in front of that bunker, Karen. Sen sensible choice, Tom, because with that awkward lie. So quick, so tough to judge. Yeah, let's run a little ways back down that green. Sandra Gall now over at nine for a birdie all the way across the back of the green as Kay described it, but it is fairly flat. She smashed that one goes up to the little rise at that where that hole's located is in the back right shelf. And back to the par 3 8th. And Michelle Wee for a birdie. <laughs> birdie for Wee to get the four under. Back to even on the round in this final round of the Lotte Championship. Remember a Saturday finish here. I.K. Kim has a one-shot lead courtesy of that birdie at the fifth, trying to win for the first time on the LPGA since 2010.
back with Chella Choi. Yeah, this is the sixth, this for a par. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, oh it went in. <laughs> well, that's a little bonus, Chella. Take it and move on. Oh, the golfing gods gave her a gift. Well, you never know, come the end of the day, how important that could be. Over at seven, you'll remember, Joju Kim hit a beautiful second shot in here. This for a birdie now down the hill. Part of a very talented group of rookies that are playing on the LPGA Tour this year. Got a little left-hand break to it. She didn't see it. Disappointing par there, if there is such a thing today. Sandra Gall now to save her par. Beautiful putt there. How about that, outward nine? Three under par, 33 shots. And does she have the gall to come in and snatch this title away? We will find out. Very good, Mark. Very good. Didn't go unnoticed. Jenny Shin for a par. Jenny Shin started off today, Tom. Bogey, bogey, bogey. And what has she done? She uh, hung tough and made a nice birdie at the fifth hole. A good round of 70 yesterday, which kind of snapped a trend that she had of not playing very well on the third, third round. And even though this green is quite sheltered, Cakes, it sits lower with the surrounding bank and the wind is still buffeting her quite significantly. Well, that was the club that worked so well over the first three days for Jenny Shin, leading the putting stats through the first three rounds, 28, 23, and 26 putts over those first three rounds, respectively. A couple of rounds of 64 from uh, players at the top of the leaderboard on Saturday. Bernard Langer was round in 64. Olin Brown, who has a one-shot lead, also carding around round of 64 at the Greater Gwinnett Championship. Coverage concludes tomorrow, 3 o'clock Eastern Time on the Golf Channel. This is Beatrice Ricari's second shot. Into the par four, got off to a tough start. I watched her play the first hole, which she didn't really hit any good shots on. And her last one resulted in a bogey six. Not a good way to start for the final round. Are in the lobby of the hotel this morning checking out. A lot of players taking a red eye flight tonight to San Francisco to ready themselves for next week's tournament. Ooh. Oh boy. That will get through the bunker now. A little bit of a downslope there, but it would have been much worse had it been on the downslope of the bunker. A lot of green to work with. Looks like a gentle trade wind on your screen, but I promise you if you get out there. It is really strong. Now, Michelle Wee's second shot. Good drive here at nine. Hasn't played a lot of real precise iron shots this week. And there you go again. And we'll come back down into a little swell and at least get on the upswell. But after a long straight drive, that is really not very good at all there for Michelle. She did hit the nice iron that resulted in a birdie two back at eight. And we go to six. Well, in the early stages of the round yesterday, Jerry I.K. Kim was saying that she was struggling with the ball going right, and that's what's happened off the tee at number six. Yeah, it wasn't that bad a tee shot. Wind caught it, bounced down the hill into the bunker, 121 to the hole. And that's a seven iron that's going to struggle to get there. It's more than just a gentle trade wind, Mark. I can promise you. see that flag the way it is moving there again this this wind has moved to turn a little more from the north so if you look at the flag great worker there uh, work by John Del Vecchio our director to show us what what the north part of this wind does is make it go more across these holes and either dead into or dead against 
a little more across from MB's angle. That was also 121 and a pitching wedge. He's going to drift back a little. Yes, starting to. Settle right there. And now, say Young Kim coming off that to birdie on the last hole. Bombed one here off the tee. Got down to the bottom of the slope, only 98 yards remaining up that hill. Wind howling from the left, a little in as well. Has to start this at least at NB's ball, which is about 15 feet left from her angle. Wind's got it. Pretty good line, a little right of the hole. Final day at the Lotte Championship where I.K. Kim has a one-shot lead in B Park. Say Young Kim chasing and Chella Troy trying to win for the first time in her LPGA Tour career. Just a moment ago at the sixth, I.K. Kim with her third shot. Little chip and run up the hill into the wind, not much break. Steady, steady. And she'll have that left for a par and she's made some crucial par putts already today. Another one coming up for I.K. Kim. Back at nine, remember Michelle Wee played her second shot just long and left. Ball down in a little swale. She's going to chip and run it. That is pretty nicely done. Drops an anchor a little shorter than she wanted. So five feet left for her. And back to six. In B Park for back to back birdies. Very slow up that hill. Not a lot of break either. Not a lot. Great chance, and she makes it. Boy, that, the way she puts it, that ball just tracks along the ground and never wavers. Three birdies in the first six holes for Inby Park and she is tied for the lead. I.K. Kim still has tricky par putt to come. Inby looking for her second victory of the season. And maybe just coming into some really, really good form as the season begins to take momentum. Look at that one more time. And she hit it nice and aggressively with good authority, and it just held that line. Perfect end over end roll. And she makes it, she looks so ho hum. Yeah. I think the field's in trouble now, Kay. <laughs> really, with the start that NB has, uh, has put together, she is going to be tough to beat. Never a bad plan, Jerry, to bet against. NB Park. No, and NB said yesterday the key to her doing well is uh, is putting, and for everybody to do well, hitting greens and putting, but clutch putts, she said, are the biggest factor in winning, and she seems to be doing it. This one going a little left. It was interesting to hear Se Young Kim's comments very much like she talked about at the a and inspiration, that she's not particularly good as a front runner, that she much prefers to be attacking from behind, and it just seems strange to hear that from a player who's so good. Well, she's just being honest about the situation, and she's still young in her career. She hadn't experienced everything. Karen, what's Chella looking at? She has 139, and wind is from the right quite heavily, Kay. Chella's shot was quite low. Chella's been quite impressive today. Over at nine now, Michelle, we save her par be a good save she can't afford any bogeys at this stage so that's a good one Tom I'm with you on say young Kim I don't ever like to hear a player say they'd rather be chasing than be ahead you have to be ahead to win the tournament at some point and it didn't work for her at the a and a inspiration we talked about wow well, she's been honest she's you know, she, this is obviously what she feels like. Maybe that's her, her way of dealing with it. But then it, it backfired. She really collapsed on the back nine and wasn't comfortable uh, at Mission Hills a few weeks ago. I.K. Kim now for a par. 
We've made some clutch saves already today. Some clutch putts down the stretch yesterday and around it could have easily gotten away from her. This is a big one here. Should go a little right, but the wind is blowing again from the right. Oh, wow. Never did turn, and that's a good four or five feet remaining. Kyoju Kim, she has this to get to three under the front nine. Well, she was one of the only players yesterday, Tom, who was bogey free up until the 18th. She finally made a bogey, so she's one of those players that is so steady. She played well here in the past, 12th, 9th, and 4th over the last uh, three years. Back to I.K. Kim for a bogey now at number six. Yeah, it's only the six hole, and this is for bogey, but this would still be considered a clutch putt. This has to be six feet. I think this one's just firm, solid, and straight. Wow, all the hard work, and two shots disappeared just like that. I.K. Kim, three putting from what about 10 feet and she slips back now to 10 under par in B Park leading at the Lotte Championship <coughs> Golf Channel and the LPGA Tour pleased to bring you final round coverage of the Lotte Championship presented by Hershey it's the final day, a Saturday finish here at Coalina. And it is very difficult at the moment to pick a winner. We've had a lot of uh, toing and froing at the top of that leaderboard, but right now in B Park is looking good with a one shot lead. But the breeze is up and it is tricky out there. Sandra Gahl, three under for the day, trying to creep up the leaderboard. But it's not easy when you're chasing former world number one in In B Park. Let's go to number seven. Tell a Choi now for a birdie here. Straight back up the hill. Oh, that didn't even have a chance. Well, you read it right, and she misread it by a foot. Thought it was going to go left. I'm not sure why. So that'll be a four for Cello. She continues to trail by three shots. Back to ten. Sandra Gar with her third. Two players managed to negotiate the front nine in 33 shots Minji Lee and Sandra Gar. This, this is two holes in a row where she's missed it on the wide side and given herself plenty of green to work with looks like she's going to walk away with a par main at six under tied for sixth I.K. Kim on the tee both the other players say Young and N.B. are fine Hand off the club, doesn't like that one. No, not for good reason, well left. And that disappears back into a little grove of palm trees back there in Ironwoods. There is out of bounds over there, so needs to be careful. This is Mika Miyazato. Who has this to say par? Good front nine for Mika. Two birdies and all pars, no mistakes yet today. We had a Miyazato as a champion here. There was I Miyazato. No relation to Miko, though they do come from the same part of the world, both from Okinawa, Japan. Miyazato won the first Lotte Championship in 2012. Suzanne Pedersen was the winner in 2013. And the defending champion here is Michelle Wee. Well, before she teed off today, I.K. Kim had a chance to talk to us. And one of the subjects we talked to her about were her travels away from the LPGA Tour. I like to take trips. I love kind of seeing different things and going to some new place that I'd never been to. And Bali I thought was kind of fun and very spiritual country. So I wanted to go, always wanted to go. And, and my next list is the Bhutan. It's one of the places that I really want to go. They only accept 5,000, I think, tourists a year. So whenever I get time in December, it's kind of late. But um, yeah, so I love traveling. She also traveled a few years ago to Paris 
to take up cooking classes. Let's just take a look at her shot here at the seventh. She's going to have to cook something up here, and that's going to be fat. Well, that's really all she was trying was to get it out in the fairway. She had 100, almost 180 yards of the hole and couldn't clear that lip with more than a nine iron. Yeah, she talks about getting away and refocusing. And able to do that when she goes to places like Bali. This is Chella Choi at the eighth. So difficult to get the distance right on this one when the wind is howling downwind and only 10 yards on that plump prato to work with. It's trying to get back there as we go back to seven. In B Park, second shot. Nine iron from 128, while well, slightly above her feet. Good lie, though. Starts that one off well right. Is it coming back enough? And is it enough club? Not too bad. Boy, it was dead on line. She's got on the all-white today, Jerry, and she is going about this in a very clinical way. That's the way she will play this golf course. She won't overpower it. She will dissect it. Say Young Kim now, her second shot. Three yards closer, 125, also a nine iron. This angle a little more into the breeze. She has to get this. That's turning well left on the wind, left side of the green at best. Oh that is no good at all. Terrible shot. So a little bit short-sighted, but she will be playing dead back into the wind, so that'll help. But she is now the pursuer. She has been the leader, and now she's chasing. Michelle Wee with a second of the tenth. Holes located on the left-hand side of the green. A friendly hole location, given that the wind is blowing right to left. Yoju Kim with a hybrid here at nine for her second. She is going quietly at minus seven. Three under par for her day, a very good score. That is another wonderful shot. Stay there, don't let the wind get it. Look at that little gust, just got it. And she is gonna lose 10 feet with that gust. Still makeable, but not like it might have been. Back at the seven, palm trees will tell you which direction the wind blows. That's why they lean that light way. It's not only today, it's pretty much every day, the prevailing trade wind. IK Kim now with the third shot of pretty good length there. 101 yards. Yeah, I think 115. playing at 115, 116. This is a nine iron. She's going to try and just keep the spin off of this. Start at the right edge of the green, I would assume. That's going to get there. And more. So it did at least spin back down into the little bowl behind the green, so she'll have an uphill lie. But it's hard work for IK Kim right about now, and she is trailing by two. And welcome back. While we were in break, this was Say Young Kim's third shot at the par four seventh. Good lie in the bunker, 60% up and down rate for this season into the wind. Pretty well done. So you left yourself about seven feet right below the hole. Now live, IK Kim, fourth shot with a putter. Oh, speedy down there. Oh, you believe it? How about that par? There was not a single good shot in that hole except for the last one. <laughs> it's all that matters, right? Looks like any other four. See that big double bogey she made back at six, <laughs> so to follow it up with a par like that is almost like making a birdie. Over to eight. And Chella Choi for a birdie. This putt looks like it should move to the right, but it's quick. 
I'm just going to get away from her a little bit there. In B Park now for a birdie at seven. Overall, not a lot of slope in this green. But she's putting herself underneath the hole more often than not, where she can control the speed much easier. Up to 10. See if Michelle Wee can make a birdie here. At the moment, Kay doesn't look like she's going to win the Lotte Championship, but may well be her best result of the season so far. We're looking for her first top 10 finish to the season, and right now she's tied for 10. Skyoju Kim over at 9 for a birdie from about 30 feet, pretty straight, very slow. She gave it a smack, had a little left-hand break right at the end there, and certainly not a kick in from that point. Three feet. Okay, say Young Kim. I would think, Jerry, this is a big putt for her. This is for a par. This is to stay within a shot. Yeah, she talked yesterday after her, uh, after her round about the pressure she faced a couple weeks ago playing in the final group with the lead at a and she said, I'm going to try and just relax and have fun today, but I know I'll be feeling the pressure out there. That pressure is being applied by MB Park, and she's feeling it right here. I can promise you. A little slow. Not good at all. It was fanned from the beginning. Went straight right off the putter blade. She will drop another shot and fall another shot further behind. Those squares aren't good, especially when there's two of them around a single number. That means double bogey. She will quickly move on to the eighth. Over at 11 now, Sandra Gall, second shot after a good tee shot. So she's coming off a slight downhill lie. Easy hole location here at 11 today. It's okay. Not exactly what she had in mind, but okay. Let's take a look at some of the scores while we have a chance. Best rounds, Yoju Kim, Sandra Gall out there right now amongst the leaders. Both at three under par for the day. Jenny Shin with a plus three round going. That's not very good. And Christy Kerr continuing to move up that leaderboard. Chen Chen Fung has been pretty quiet all week and still, as always, you look up there and there she is at minus three. Michelle Wee, just even par for the day. That will not get it done. She started too far behind. Thought Brittany Litzcombe might play a little bit better, but she is three over for the day. And Beatrice wow. Ricari at plus four. Well, there's Solheim cut points on the line and top 20 finishers, top 20 Americans in the top 20 get points. Allison, Allison Walsh will be picking up some valuable points if she can hold it together. Miriam Lee had it going for a while and she is now plus five for the round today. You're gonna see a bunch of 75s out there. It is a difficult day. And we go out to the 12th. So young Lee, and this par three has caused a bit of trouble for a few players throughout the week. Looking at the driving stats, so young Lee drives the ball a long way, driving the ball over 280 average this week. That's pretty impressive for a 17 year old. And we've seen that from a number of the young South Korean players that uh, hit the ball a long way. Could go in. Oh, good try. Say Young Kim is a long driver of the golf ball, Mi Rim Lee. It's our first look at the par 5, 13th green, Clarendon on Patlam for a birdie. Up the hill, this is a slow putt up and over a ridge. All the way at the back right part of the screen, Mark. Just a little landing area back there. I'll bet, Kay, before the day is done, if we see 20 putts from down there, you won't see two or three get past the hole from there. Sandra Gall now at the 11th for a birdie. This one's going to have some left-hand break to it right in the middle of the putt, and then it'll straighten out. 
dead end of the wind, so even though it's a little downhill, it's slow. This, this green, I feel like, is a relatively flat green compared to some of the others. Oh, she made it. Wow, Sandra Gall is feeling it today. That was a beautiful read. She saw the straightening out of that putt at the end before she hit it. That is a really good birdie and a really important time for her to make it. Take a look at that stretch. She played there at four, five, and six. Birdie, eagle, birdie. Back to eight. Here's the leader, M.B. Punk. Pitching wedge, 127 front. 135 hold, just an easy little one on a great line. Just running on a little bit, but that is a good tee shot from MB. Beautiful. Playing the sort of golf today that we saw when she was uh, having that incredible run a couple of years ago, trying to win the Grand Slam. Now IK. Nine iron for IK. Playing the sort of golf today that we saw early yesterday, a little erratic, but you never know. She put on a hard charge that first day, playing in the final group, birding, what, four of the last five? Did a similar uh, routine yesterday when she was struggling, and not all that sure where the golf ball is going today. And Kay, you and I watched her warm up. She had a pretty good warm up session, although it was tough to tell because they're hitting straight into about a 40 mile an hour wind. Yeah, she was, she started off her warm up session with her back to the wind and just taking smooth practice swings to develop some good tempo and not try to fight the wind. This is center of the green. Not gonna stay. hurt her. Yeah, stay on the lower level, that's fine. That's a really, actually really nice shot there. Lot on the line for I.K. Kim, trying to win for the first time since the Ocho Invitational in 2010, 2010, of course that uh, heartbreak at the ANA Inspiration in 2012. Jerry, I know it's been a bit erratic for Seung Kim, but Brad Beecher, we're looking at a picture of him uh, in B Park's caddy. He had something interesting to say in describing Say Se Young Kim, didn't he? He did. He said she reminds him and the other players and caddies of a younger NB Park and that she has length. She's not afraid of anything, never gets upset never backs down and can roll the ball on the greens. Pretty so nice to be compared to MB. Yeah, she's a fun player to watch. This also center of the green. I think she's got more natural length than NB when she first came on tour, so she's ahead of her in that regard. But you feel like she has to get through this hurdle of being able to win when leading heading into the final day. And it seems like it is a hurdle for her at the moment, despite the fact that she's uh, in the early stages of her professional career. Plenty to do when you go down to the ocean here in Hawaii. We're back at the eighth hole. See, young Kim has a chance for a birdie. Should be moving a little bit to the right. Pretty flat speed-wise. Very good indeed. Well, she thought it might drop at the end. And is it going to drop? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's a three. Remains at ten under. Chasing in B Park. Let's go up to the ninth. Chella Troy with a long second shot. Hybrid club in hand here. Center of the fairway. From 168 mark. And I'll tell you, she does have a really smooth swing, and that's something I think that most of these players at the top of this leaderboard are doing right now, is just swinging smoothly with this wind. That is a good point. Jerry was talking about it before. You put less spin on the ball when you swing that way. The harder you hit it, the more it spins. At the eighth, Indy Park for birdie. Looks like it has to go a little left early, her feet are below the ball, then not much after it. We're back to the right a bit. Here she looked. Like she was, she was actually fooled, Jerry. Yeah, well, that's wind, <laughs> not slope. Coming on for half of the field and finish their rounds today. Just one player has broken 70. That was Ayako Yurihara, who shot 69. Michelle Wee looking for a birdie here at 11. This is her second shot. Just a shorty at the par four, and that's not very good. From that distance, that'll come up 
woefully short for a long birdie attempt. And back at the beautiful eight. Yeah, one of the features here are the waterfalls, and there's a gorgeous one there in front of the green at number eight. IK okay, Kim going to work here, Jerry, with Terry McNamara. One of the best caddies in the business. Just came out of retirement for about two years of spending more time with his daughters. Great guy, Terry is, and he's happy to be on the bag, IK Kim, because there's not a soul around the LPGA who has a disparaging thing to say about this young lady. She got a good read from Say Young's putt. Should move a little right, not as much as it feels like, because once again, I sound like a broken record, but because of that wind. Beginning to bounce back, a nice hold putt off the green at the seventh. You really felt like that kept the momentum going and then able to make birdie at eight. So IK Kim within one of the lead. Let's go to 11. And this is Wee for a birdie. A little bit of left hand break. She hit it way right. And a little too hard, so now she's got some work for her par left. We go back one to ten. And Christy Kerr looks like she's just on a little downslope there, Kay. <coughs> well, that helped with having a lot of green to work with. It was always going to come out low with less spin. Christy, a couple under for the day. And she was five under yesterday, so having a good round three and four. Okay, Chella Choi now for a birdie at nine, Karen. This part back up the hill, back into the wind, and will break to the right. She's hit a couple of iffy putts the last few holes and could really do with making good solid contact with this, and that's something that you've talked about, Mark, with the wind, with long shots certainly, but just equally as important on these putts. talked earlier in the week about not leaving yourself putts of that length it makes it so tiring when you've got four footer after four footer now at the ninth tee IK Kim with this wind blowing mark she knows the head cover is going to be coming off on the second shot so just try and get this in the fairway once again hand off the club got to be a quick little draw that will stay out of the bunker Missed it on both sides today. Not a good sign early. Actually, it doesn't necessarily hurt to have the ball in the rough. Okay, let's take a look Looked at like, IK's swing. Looked like at address, her shoulders were a little bit open. And so perhaps she just was swinging a little bit along the lines that her shoulder was set up to. She has a little bit kind of a floppy motion at the top, but really nice rhythm in general. Speaking of nice rhythm, here's some right here, I in B Park, excuse me. That was nice and solid low, turning up the left center. In B has hit 81% of her fairways, 74% of the greens this week. Nice combo. Yeah, she hit 10 more fairways in the first three rounds than say young Kim. Up at the green now, Chella Choi to save her par. From three foot. Might move a little to the left. Oh, barely got in. She's had a couple of those today. Well, <laughs> it's in now. And say Young Kim, as she likes to do, get over on the left-hand side of the tee to promote a little bit of a draw, get a little extra distance. A little lull in the wind might help also. Bring it up down the right side. Yeah, she can just hammer this hard down the right side. Nice. She didn't like it. She hammered it, though. It was solid. I don't know why she doesn't like it. It's pretty good to me, Jerry. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, Bob Dylan sang the song, You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows, and you don't today at Colina. But it's still a gorgeous Saturday afternoon on Oahu. 
Welcome back to the final round of the Lotte Championship on this Saturday in Hawaii. Michelle Wee for a par 11. Got it. So that's a good one there for Michelle. Two butt, not quite what she had in mind. Par par start to her backside. She needs to make some birdies. We saw Christy Kerr was bunkered here at the 10th hole. It's been playing as one of the most difficult holes in the golf course all week. Not quite the most difficult today, but that is a par for Christy Kerr. Playing as the fourth most difficult on the golf course. But Christy makes a good up and down. Yes, come on, Christy. At the 12th, Sandra Gall. Can she make another birdie? She's giving it a good run. But she really has her touch dialed in today to Sandra Gall. Best score on the course at four under to number nine. And you are looking into the eyes of I.K. Kim with her second shot at the long par four. Remember our two spots, the star at the bottom and the star on the left bottom, I think that's... I don't mind coming out of the rough, Jerry, on a shot like this, actually, on a day like this. Stop, stop. I'm sure what you're doing. Give it a little bit of scoop going up toward that green. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Okay. Mark, I think that's what Terry's uh, coaching her into doing. 187 yards with her three hybrids. Same club she had yesterday and hit it fat. But it should jump a little and maybe, maybe run back there. Okay. This has to carry to clear the left bunker. Terry, no one's gotten it close to this whole location. It's just a matter of can you get it somewhere on the green. That wasn't her best, but that's not bad. I think there's only been one birdie here today such a tough hole location. In B Park now from the fairway. 10 yards closer, 177 yards. Yes, correct, Mike. 177 hole, this is her five hybrid, carries two hybrids, two and a five. And this, this one was her father's idea because she hits the ball with such a penetrating ball flight that he thought on par three she has no chance to keep a five iron on the green wouldn't stop that often had her put this one in and her caddy brad beecher said brilliant idea this one a little left of the hole yeah that's been a popular spot today and that's a good play right there She will march her way up to the green, and in the meantime, say Young Kim will have a second shot. No, it's, it's solid right below. Yep, all right. Hey, good imagination with the shot. That's great advice from Paul Fusco, experienced caddy. Good imagination, good shot. 149 yards of the hole, going with six iron. It takes imagination today, Mark. There's not a standard shot being played. We're taking a look at her final round scoring average. That's not good. Cut. Cut. So this is actually Cut. fading a little. Oh, oh a shot. A good a shot. She worked on that shot after round one to hit more left to right shots to hold up against that right to left win, and she pulled it off under pressure hole is always such an important hole, I believe, at this stage of the round, in a final round, which we are in the middle of today, even though it's a Saturday, because it's a long walk over to the 10th tee. This is Michelle Wee at 12. Defending champion. And straight back into that hard-blowing wind. Okay, Michelle finished at 14 under last year, the record for 72 holes here, 19 under par, that was Suzanne Pedersen. Lead at the moment is 12 under. So it shows you it's a little more difficult here this year. 
get on with the problem. 10th hole, Choi in a bit of trouble here. Not too bad, Tom. The, uh, she has a clear shot to the hole, although the wind is blowing from the right. She's going to have to hit a hold, and potentially from this rough, she might get a bit of extra run out of it. It is very dry now, this rough. At least she has, out of this drier rough, Karen, a better chance of hitting that left to right shot than thick, juicy rough. This is true. Chella chasing her first LPGA Tour win. She's finished in the top five 14 times in her LPGA career, seventh year on tour. Three of those have been <coughs> runner-up finishes, and one of them was a playoff loss. We'll go back to the ninth. <coughs> I.K. Kim with a lot of green between her and that hole. Yes. About four feet of fringe, a ton of green, very slow up to that top level. But Terry indicating as it ascends the slope, it's going to kick it a little left. Other than that, not much break. Mark, this is a, a type of putt. You know, technically just a third shot, not on the putting surface, but a type of putt that uh, a lot of our viewers and maybe some of us might not even get on the top level. It's a small little level up there and any kind of miss hit whatsoever, bounce early and it might not get all the way there. For the viewers who are watching, the dark part of the green, which is the back of the green there, you can see it quite a bit darker than the front part. That is where the slope is in the green. So the slowest part of this putt is right in the middle. The one thing she doesn't want to do, Jerry, is rip it five or six feet by. That's a much more difficult putt coming back than if she left it five or six feet short. Yeah, putting out of the fringe, a lot of players will give it that little extra. That is really nice. What a tremendous judge of pace, Kay. That, Jerry, is a good indicator of where she is mentally right now. That's Hyoju Kim from behind the 11th green. And nicely judged there also for her. So few of these par fours offering birdie opportunities today. You really have to take advantage of the par fives. 13th tee, one of the par fives is moved up again today as it was yesterday in the third round. Now back over at the ninth green in B Park. Also very slow, should move to the right, not a ton. Great, Did everything but go in. She almost almost jerry got the second birdie on this hole i checked the stats yes it's playing the second hardest hole on the course only one birdie a rare in the final round of a world-class event does somebody get a skin well, jerry the last three times in nb park was trailing by two strokes coming into the final round of a tournament she won so how many was she trailing by coming into the final round here this week two strokes that's a good front nine, 34. You know who's going to get the skin? Angela Stanford. She birded the ninth, 10th, and 11th. Well, Se Young Kim may have something to say about that. Oh, that's right. While she's looking at that, we're going to go over to 11. Christy Kerr for a birdie. She has an amazing way of scaring a golf ball into behaving. But that still wandered nearly five feet past the hole. Now, say Young Kim over at nine. Left center, left edge and solid. Should do the trick. Yeah. 
That's her tendency in that transition. She almost always aims to put her left and then pushes it a bit, sometimes too much. Well, that can be devastating. Hit a shot like that, that is almost the most important putt you can have when you knock a shot that close from a different angle. We'll be able to see it was never on the high side of the hole, low side all the way. They just will not fall in from that side of the hole. So a par for Say Young Kim when she needed a birdie in B Park with a one-stroke lead. Chella Choi at the 10th, her third shot. Oh, lovely touch from Chella Choi. She's only three shots behind is Chella. And that should keep her at nine under. Let's go to the 12th and Michelle Weave for a birdie. This for a second two of the day. This should move down to her left. Well, just in there for Michelle Wee, but maybe a little bit too late. And instead of five under, she's seven shots behind. But I think this is going to help Michelle's confidence if she can have a top five finish. All in all, it's not been a very good start for her this year. No top ten, so... Well, the final group has reached the tenth tee, and I.K. Kim, one shot behind Inby Park. This Hasn't always been the easiest of tee shots for the players this week, Jerry. No, it's a really tough hole to hit the fairway. Downwind a little from the right, dog legs right. Almost every player that misses it hits it through the fairway. And then, of course, you have water right to protect against. You can't, this one's good. You can't really see the water from the tee, but you know it's there. That was a gorgeous drive. And Jerry, as we get ready to watch MB Park, play this back nine, guess who has the upper hand on this back nine of this three? NB. Yes. I'm reading your mind. NB, a lot of times on a shot like this, will try and hold it against the wind. She's done it remarkably well a couple of times a day in this very strong wind, but that's risky with water right. It's turning over a little. Should stay on the left side of the fairway. Maybe not. Boy, that ball chases on. That's, it's going to be just fine. Finally, Se Young Kim, who may be slightly rattled, having missed that short birdie putt on the previous green. Once again, left side of the tee box. That's so tempting here to hit more club than you need. You can't carry the water right with any, even with her length. She could carry it, the first part of it, but she sprays it a little further right of that, and it's wet, and she's hitting her sec for what would be the third shot from over 200 yards, so just got to... Lay back here, take your medicine if you will on a layup and then try and play a great iron shot. That's really good there. It's probably so hard for a long ball hitter to just sort of put the chains on. All three golf balls in the fairway, nicely away at the 10th. Coming into the back nine in the final round of the Lotte Championship, NB Park with that one shot lead has a chance to get to number two in the world here this week. Welcome back to the Hawaiian Islands, and that is Diamond Head Crater, perhaps the most famous volcanic crater in the world. It's just a youngster, 150,000 years it's been dormant. People love to hike there, you get up on top, tremendous views. It's called Leahi in Hawaiian, Tom, that means brow of the tuna. You probably didn't even know the tuna had a brow. Brow of the tuna like tuna fish. That's correct. Wow. Sandra Gall with a monster putt for a birdie. Okay. He's going to take some break. That's pretty nicely judged there. She's had a great touch on the greens with her long lag putts. Back to 10. I.K. Kim in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, 157 yards away, a seven iron. Tough to get this close with the wind howling and helping from the right. Just don't miss it left. Exactly what she was thinking. That's back of the green. Just going to test her long putting touch once again. It's getting a little closer to the hole. IK 
Okay, just one behind in B Park. Going with nine iron from 149 yards. She can get it close, but it probably at this point wouldn't be advised to try because you can make a number left of the green or short. Rhythm and balance is so good. It doesn't look like any amount of wind would push her over, does it, Jerry? No, no, she's uh, always in sync, it appears. So, Young Kim, next play, she started the day with a one shot lead over I.K. Kim. MB Park started the day two behind. 146 yards, also a nine iron. said use your imagination and right now I think she's just trying to sense or visualize get a feeling for something creative here which might require a little baby fade like she did back at nine to get it to land a little softer but it's not likely it's going to come down too softly Into the slope, and that killed it. So young, not giving herself an obvious chance for birdie, but uh, we've seen some long shots hold today. What's happening here, Michelle? We maybe with a friend. Well, she has a lot of friends in the gallery. And even if it isn't a friend, she's just naturally friendly. And how can you resist saying hi to a cute little one like that? Well, she has her own day here in uh, the state of Hawaii. Was it December 12th, Mark? It was. Michelle Wee Day got the key to the city down at the Alawai Golf Course, right in the middle of Waikiki. Fun place there. It's Chella Choi now. Second shot. She's hit six of the ten greens today. That's not bad on a day like today. This is from 74 yards. Ball was above her feet in the rough, but it is dry. I'd like to have my own day somewhere. I don't think they'll ever give me one, though. What's your hometown? Cheem. C-H-E-A-M, beautiful part of the world. Wouldn't be Labor Day. <laughs> so uh, young. April 1st. <laughs> that would be perfect for me. <laughs> so young Lee for Birdie at the 14th. Christy Kerr dropped a shot at the 11th. So this to respond with a birdie at the 12th. Oh, a lot of body English in that one. Just going to be a three for Christy. That's a really nice tee shot. The par threes here are a little challenging. I think today's whole location there on that right hand side a little bit easier. Inby Park with a one shot lead over I.K. Kim. Say Young Kim, the rookie, is in the mix as well. There's Michelle Wee, the defending champion here at the Lotte Championship. I.K. Kim for a birdie at the 10. Looks a little speedy, breaking slightly to the left. She had the line. Shall we hit two big ones? This is her third shot at 13. Will it climb the hill? No, that is not a very good shot there. So unless she can make a long one, that will be an opportunity squandered for Michelle. She needed a birdie. Back at 11 now, Chella Choi from just behind the hole, about 12 feet. And she's been going along quite nicely. Oh, but at this stage of the game, you have to be a little bit more aggressive than that. Yeah, that would have gotten her to within two of the lead. Still has a chance, though. Back over to 10. 
Se Young Kim. Just off the green here, Jerry? Just off the green, took relief from a sprinkler head, dropped it twice, rolled more than two club lengths back down the slope, so was able to place it. Still should hobble early, and this green, is, she's putting downwind, can get away from you. Not too bad. Not the best read, but not too bad. PJ Tour on Hilton Head Island this week at the RBC Heritage. Troy Merritt with a three-shot lead heading into the final day. Matt Kuchar has a chance to successfully defend. Final round coverage is coming your way at 12.30 Eastern Time. 12.30 Eastern on Golf Channel Sunday. Inby Park. Leaf blew right through her address position during the backstroke. She didn't stop. Didn't flinch. And another solid par. Those aren't going to hurt her. Jerry mentioned that leaf. There it is. Just blowing right by her. May have gone through her legs. So is 12 under going to be good enough, do you think, Kay? It, it, I, I like that score. It's awfully hard to make a bunch of birdies. And MB can just protect right now and see what see what the others do. Jared, it's nice to be in the position where you can play conservatively, and then maybe there's a couple holes on the back nine, those par fives, where you might be a little more aggressive. Yeah, but they're not reachable for these players. I, I, I don't think even say Young Kim can get to 14 or 13, so they they have to work for birdies on those holes. 12 under, I would take it right now. This putt for. Okay, coming down the slope, it was turning a little left. Tough to trust that right now because that wind is blowing across the line. But Se Young's putt did turn what would be left from this direction. Ooh, a little extra step there showing uncertainty. Yeah. Another clutch passe for I.K. Kim. She remains one behind. And we'll go up to the 12th with Chella Choi and Karen, you've got to think that could be so costly missing that birdie chance on the last green. She's had so many opportunities, Tom. And this hole is a beast yet again today. And when that ball was at the pinnacle of its height, the wind just seemed to knock it right down. It's going to be okay though. She'll have a chance for a birdie quickly over to number 10 and see young Kim for par. And remains at 10 under. She's two over for the day. Sandra Gall, best score on the golf course at the moment, four under for the round. This is her third to the par 5, 14. And that back. could trundle back. Go. And then it's going to Go. set up another birdie chance for Sandra Gall, who is trying her best to claw her way through. But five shots back right now. You've got to think that she is uh, in need of a mistake from the players at the top of the leaderboard. This is a slow one for Michelle Wee, up the hill at 13. Just a little bit of right hand break, but not much. She overread it. Safe par though, but not what she needs at this stage. So Michelle Wee will tap in there. She'll remain a full seven shots behind. I.K. Kim still in the chase. They all trail in B Park. Pleased to be bringing you final round coverage of the Lotte Championship. It's gone three o'clock here in Hawaii. It's past nine o'clock on the east coast of the United States. The Lotte Championship presented by Hershey, where MB Park has a one-shot lead over IK Kim. IK trying to win for the first time since 2010, and for the first time since that heartbreak moment at the ANA Inspiration when she missed that short putt to win a major championship. Can she get it done here on Saturday at Koalina? Se Young Kim, the rookie who led overnight as a couple of shots back. Paula Creamer, disappointment for Paula today. Five over and she has slipped outside of the top 15. Great to be in Hawaii. 
Tom and Kay here with you, Mark, Jerry and Karen, completing our broadcast team on the island of Oahu. Let's go out to the 11th. This is NB Park on the tee with Lesson Driver. I think you just really want to hit 210, 220 yard shot unless Unless you can get 80 <laughs> yards of roll by turning it over with a three wood, that went as far as a driver would have gone. And certainly straighter. Up to 14. Sandra Gall making another birdie. Oh. That was a chance to get to eight under and within four of the lead. Yoju Kim with her third shot. Now she is at minus seven. She could use a birdie here. Impressively, Mark, still bogey free today. Big full swing there. And just a little bit too high. That'll stay right on the ridge though. Well, coming up Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, it's the finale of Big Break, the Palm Breaches, Florida. Justin against Richie. One of the best finals I've ever seen hosting Big Break. It had a bit of everything. A lot on the line as well. So we should tune in. Absolutely you should. All right. Chella Choi out at the... 12th hole has a birdie try. Let's see if she can make this one, Karen. And like I said a little bit earlier, you have to think that this is the stage of the proceedings that really start to want to be aggressive and try to give these balls a chance of going in the hole. She's been a bit tentative and that's uh, not what you need to do if you're going to go ahead and win. Karen, Tom talked about her, her uh, large number of top five finishes mm -hmm. and several times second place, what do you think has made the difference for her? You know, she really just plays quite conservatively and hasn't quite sealed the deal. And, you know, you have to bear in mind that she's been up against, you know, you think about Yanni Sang and uh, I, I, MB Park, players like that that have come through and won as well. So she's been up against the best. And, you know, sometimes that's just hard to seal the deal. Third shot for Paula Cremo over at 13. Not a particularly good day for Paula. Let's see if she can get that ball all the way back. Yes, that's what the players are looking to do. Just a small little perch up there where that hole is located. And that is I.K. Kim with her second shot. Beautiful backdrop here at 11. That is Alani. A Disney Resort and Spa. I am staying over there this week. It's quite a place. If you can't have fun there, you just can't have fun. Great spot for kids like you, Tom. <laughs> I.K. again, hand off the club, turning away quickly. Yeah, she was trying to hit a little baby fade to hold it up against the wind with a nine iron and caught it a little heavy. Seriously, Tom, you would love it over at Al I would. Would yeah. I like the character and, and breakfast? Yeah, you, the Mickey you could and be Goofy. One. You would fit. Right I think in. I could be Goofy. <laughs> Here's another look at I.K. Kim's swing. Yeah, just right at impact. Didn't feel solid. Couldn't really detect anything there. Terribly unusual. Don't think you'll see that out of NB Park here. Maybe just. Uh, 83 yards, bit of a downhill line. Just going to chase a little 52-degree wedge back there a bit. Whoa, you did see something like that. That's a surprise. Goodness. And that, folks, was, I guess you might call it a semi-shank. No, it was full-on shank. It a was chunk a full-on shank, shank. Yeah. All right. Kay, go ahead and describe <laughs> this one. I don't want to. Well, I, you know, this obviously hitting the hosel, we like to call these a hosel rocket. She does stand pretty close to the ball and she takes it steeply up. 
and she also has a little bit of that head turn a la Annika Sorenstam, but that's all very normal. I must say it was a high shank, though. That's fairly unusual. It was a fat shank. She uh, chunked <laughs> it and hit the hosel at the same time. That's rare. Nonetheless, we're making light of it. That is going to be a really tough place from which you get it up and down. Oh, Say young Kim, on the other hand, staying true to her nature. Tread knocking it on the green for the second straight day. Only 43 yards to the hole. Just a basic little pitch shot. Landed a third of the way on the green and let it run back to the hole. Looks like she has a pretty good lie to be able to control it pretty well. Yeah. Beautiful lie. That will release. And that is nicely done. Nicely done there, six feet below the hole. Good opportunity with MB Park in trouble. Up at 13, Yoju Kim won't be aware of what's happened to MB Park back at 11, but she could take advantage of it if she could hold this one, but hit it just a little too hard. Any easier that one would have taken the break. Okay, back at 11. Jerry, what's NB Park looking at now? Well, she's got to hit a great shot and then get lucky. Has to land it well short of the green. Big slope from the right as well. That's going to bounce it left, try and run it through that fringe. And then the slope doesn't end right at the edge of the green. Another knob right there that's going to continue to throw it left. Anything inside 8 or 10 feet will be acceptable. Closer than that will be fantastic. It's got to sit down. Trouble for NB Park. She is going to have some hard work. And say, young Kim. Just looking to catch her right here. She could. Back at 13, Paula Creamer now for a birdie. She is not going to catch her at minus one. But there's no quit in her. She'll keep grinding away as tough as it is out there right now. It's sometimes hard. Something she doesn't like about this, perhaps the wind or sometimes you look at a putt from behind the ball and then when you get over it, you have a different perspective. You think, now where, where was, where's my alignment? Where do I want to start this? So take another look. round she was looking for. And she won back here in 2008. She won at the 16 under par. And that was just three rounds. That's a pretty good plan. Russell with her third to the 14th. Five over par for the day. Uh, she has a chance to get one back there. I.K. Kim, long birdie try at 11. Pretty slow. Okay. And that was smartly done. She'll stay at 11 under and Perhaps we'll be tied for the lead if MB can't get this putt to fall. Jerry, Tom alluded to the fact, thinking back a couple years ago, when MB had that amazing year, winning six times, three majors, and so much pressure was on her, and and she kind of had to remind people that she's just a human, just a golfer, that she has limits. And I think we forget sometimes she executes so well that that shot that she just hit, her second shot, I mean, she's human. She makes mistakes. How about that, Steph? Yet to make a bogey on the entire back nine this week. Seven under in total. But in danger here. 
Very strong danger. Yeah, okay, you're right. She, uh, because she's so stoic and, and uh, in control of her emotions on the course, we just think she's sometimes robotic in the way she plays, but she's susceptible to the same nerves, as she says, inside as everybody else. This one may be moving a little right. Well, what, what she generally does better than most is she doesn't compound one mistake after another, and she forgets the bad shot and thinks about the next shot at hand. Up to 14. Third shot for Michelle Wee. Nice bit of stop on that golf ball and a chance for Michelle to get to two under for the day. Six under par for the week. That put her in sixth place on her own. We'll go back to the 11. Say Young Kim now. Has a chance to make a statement here. Make it a three-way tie for the lead heading to the final seven holes. This one, they're really struggling with the read. And I think it's because it's awfully straight looking. It might actually come a little left. Jerry, this to me seems like one of the flattest, relatively flattest greens on the golf course. And, and I think you're right. It's almost like if she went half a step to the right, it might break a little left. Half a step to the left might go the other way. As a player, though, Kay, don't you like to always try and find just a little break in a putt, like maybe inside right or inside left as opposed to straight? I suppose. Unless she can hit it straight and firm. Ooh, like that. She did play it a little uh, inside right. That is a beauty there. What a time to make a three, and she knows it. There it is, big circle around it. We'll be back to Colina final round of the Lotte Championship presented by Hershey. MB Park with a bit of a roller coaster putt here, Jerry at the 12th. It is a very slow roller coaster because this ball is going to be moving so slowly the entire way and take a sharp right turn halfway there. <coughs> Just died on the top edge. Similar to that. If anyone can handle this putt, it's MB. Well, you can't do much better than that without hitting the hole. Very nice, getting it into a three-foot circle. Tell a choice for Birdie, Karen. This one should move left. Oh, I tell you what, that was a good putt. And I read it exactly as she did, so. Well, she's doing all the right things, except pulling a couple of crucial birdie putts. She just can't seem to get off that minus nine number. Back to 12. And I.K. Kim trying to break out of that tie at the top. Four under on the par threes this week, Jerry, as we can see from that graphic. Well, it'd be unexpected from here. She'll take a two putt, I can promise you, and walk away. Not an easy putt. Does slide a little bit to the right. This group has been warned. They were told a couple holes ago that the groups in front of them had been warned. They got on their horses and sped up. This group has not, so they'll give them a hole or two before they put them on the clock, but it seems inevitable. This play is not quick out here in this wind. And there's another tester for IK. She's been really good on them today, but she keeps leaving them. Well, the LPGA Tour adjusted their pace of play policy last year so that uh, you need to keep up with the group in front. Brittany Lincecum at 16th, not having a great day today. And she said it at the A&E Inspiration that she doesn't really enjoy playing in the wind too much, so this event doesn't suit her particularly well. She's four over for the day today and back in the tie for 26th. Back to the 12th and say Young Kim. Bob a little bit, should turn a little left here. Good try. <laughs> Goodness. Three for say Young Kim. And she remains at 11 under. If there's a feeling, especially with Chella Choi, there might be a number, well, a couple of players who see that leaderboard come the end of the day as we watch the reaction from say Young Kim and felt like, wow, if I had just made a couple more putts, I would have been right in there. I don't think there's ever a round that you leave and feel like there weren't one or two shots she could have done better, but 
a trying day, Jerry. Yes, uh, just a, well, it's just you, every one of these players, everybody who competed today, but especially the ones trying to win, in position to win, are going to be so mentally drained tonight. And like you said, most of them are going to be flying a red eye to San Francisco. And I don't think there'll be a lot of eyes that are wide open on that one. That's going to be a lot of sleeping. This is a tough putt. It's only four feet, but, and again, it's just a little slider. But the wind blowing straight across the line, the wind blowing from behind you, um, when you're putting is always uncomfortable on this length putt, on any length putt, but especially one you're supposed to make. Again, solid. yes, again, Jerry, she's so solid today on all the short putts. Just the one big mistake at the sixth hole. Feeling like this is going to come down to the wire between those three players. And 17 is playing as a very, very tricky hole. 18 has the, the water in play. Now in B Park has this for a three. Just the right side of the hole. She doesn't miss many of these and never when she's in contention. Players in her group are already up on the next tee, waiting to hit to try and speed things up to avoid getting put on the clock. Three threes, and uh, Se Young Kim already has the driver in hand mark at the 13th tee. Yeah, it's kind of disconcerting when you get in this situation, so you need to be careful to not get too much out of your normal routine. Well, and Se Young's a pretty quick player to begin with by nature not behind because she's taking too much time I can promise you that that's up the left and hits solidly oh goes bounding down the fairway so she'll be able to get it fairly close to that green Sandra Gar, one of those players who at the end of the day may think wow if I made a couple more birdies on this back nine she's not on the green at the 16th outside chance for birdie she is currently four behind That is I.K. Kim on the tee at 13. Water on the right you need to be careful of. Yeah, popped it up a little bit, but it's going to be safe. That landed very softly, so she'll be a long way back. And up to the tee at 14. Chella Choi just two behind, Karen. And this would be a great opportunity, Tom, to try and claw one back. And don't you think that if she could she could get maybe just one, maybe two birdies and post a number, it would really apply some pressure to that group behind? Absolutely. She'll be right in there trying to get that first victory. Back to 13. To Cindy Park. Up the left edge. Needs a bounce to get in the fairway. Well, well, maybe not. That'll be just fine for NB. Third shot for Michelle Wee up at 15, bunkered her second. And that hole is located just on the green. Oh, boy. No acceleration on that one at all, Kay. That one was almost like she gave up on it. There she is at minus five, looking up the leaderboard at a three-way tie. It's boiling up in the final round of the Lotte Championship. Don't go away. flavor of Hawaii. We've enjoyed our time on Oahu this week. Yoju Kim at the 14th for birdie. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yes, Yoju Kim moves to eight under par. She's only three behind, you know. Bogey free today. Only two players bogey free today. Chela Choi and Hyoju Kim. Hyoju Kim hoping to be this year's Rolex Rookie of the Year, like Paula Kramer was back, what, 
10 years ago. Has it been that long? It's for a birdie. Mm. Sort of sums up Paula's day. Cutter not being very kind. Speaking of the Rolex Rookie of the Year standings, let's take a look and see who's at the top of that board. A lot of good players in this rookie class this year. Two of them have already won, Say Young Kim and Hyoji Kim, Arya Jitanagarn, younger sister of Moria. Hana Jang has been in contention a couple times. UCLA Bruin, Allison Lee, Minji Lee, winner of the Girls Junior back in 2012. Good list. Unfortunately, this is Michelle Wee for a bogey at the 15th. It's not a very good score on this hole for her. Never a good time to make a double, but this was a particularly bad one. And we'll go up to the home hole. This is Minji Lee, who is a, a rookie this year, as we saw from the Rolex Rookie of the Year standings. So that she won the girls' junior at Lake Merced Golf Club, where we will be playing swinging skirts next year. In the semifinals that year, I mean, next week we'll be at swinging skirts. In the semifinals that year was Allison Lee, Aria Jutanagar, and Lydia Ko, and Minji Lee. So you're saying that the girls junior is a good indicator of what's to come it was that year. year it was that year Sandra Gall for a birdie at 16 from long range Minji Lee by the way had uh, 33 shots going out but struggled a bit coming home still going to be a top 15 finish for Minji third shot now for IK Kim at the par 5 13th 103 yards 103 yards up that hill into the breeze. Just gonna chip a nine iron according to Terry McNamara. Don't wanna go long. Pretty small target up on that top tier. Pretty oh, good shot. Beautiful, Jerry. The ball was really on line there. Just pitched right behind the hole. That is a good spot to putt from up on top. Say Young Kim with a club change here. Well, a little mistake on the layup, and she did lay up. She only had 224 front and could have got it really close, but decided to lay back with a hybrid and fanned it just a bit to the right in the primary cut of rough 75 yards to the hole. Trying to land it on that middle tier, I would assume, and see if it'll chase up. I don't think you can risk flying it up there. Or can you? Uh-huh. I'm still not sure, Jerry, why she didn't just blast one right up by the green from where she was after her tee shot. I think it just gets a little narrow up there, and she wasn't comfortable with it. She would have had an uphill lie, even if she did manage to keep it in the fairway. Nonetheless, she didn't expect to miss a fairway with the layup. NB, a very good layup here, just 63 yards, should be able to spin it. Plenty of spin on it. That's a good one. Three feet left for NB Park. By far the best of the birdie opportunities. Fourteenth hole, third shot for Chella Choi. Right, Karen, she needs to make something happen. She does. She has 84 yards. Great lie in the fairway. This is low, but it's drifting a hair right, Tom. You want to keep your shot below this hole if you can. Yeah, it's going to have a little swing to it. Make your next round the best yet with advice from thousands of golfers like yourself. Head to golfadvisor.com for course reviews, facility ratings and assessments for golfers by golfers. Out at the 13th green now, Say Young Kim. But her third shot just over the green by about five feet, Jerry. Yeah, but what is she, 12 feet from the hole, it looks like? It's not too bad. Putting downwind, down grain, going to be a little quick once it gets on the green, but you got to be concerned about what it's going to do on that three feet of fringe. 
I definitely like the putter. I don't think chipping this and landing it on unless you catch it perfectly is going to be all that predictable. So just try and bobble it through there and get it on the green somewhere in the direction of the high side of the hole. Went left early on her. That'll be a safe par. But with NB Park putting from that coin right behind where Say Young Kim is standing, it's likely she will be trailing after this hole. Mike Kay Kim also has a birdie attempt. She'll go before NB Park. There she is. Just a few inches of fringe here for IK, also turning a little left. A very, very good look here. She has made her share today. And if it does turn out to be her day, Kay and Marky got a point back to number seven where she made the really ugly, dramatic par. From off the green. And that was uh, right after she had made a double bogey. It looked like she was gonna drop another one or two shots, and you're right. And then it seemed like she's just steadied herself ever since. Players have been making this putt, Jerry. It is a cup on the right is where you need to hit this one. Maybe just a hair more, depends on your pace. Yeah, depending on that speed, but I like that line. It's a good but putt a for a right-handed golfer, that's for sure. Little bobble early oh, in that. Oh, oh, oh. Just killed it enough. Almost like it was sitting in a hole, Mark. And it's going to leave NB Park with a putt for the outright lead. Chance gone by there for IK Kim, and she knows it. Jerry, remember, uh, it was last year. MB changed her putting, her putter to two degrees flat because she likes to have her hands close to her body, and it better suited that new lie. Allowed her to have her hands and arms hang naturally, and they. It's been a pretty good change. Also adjusted her ball position. She felt like she was getting a little too much shaft lane at address. She moved it up a little bit and started putting like the envy of old. This one is going to move a little left. Oh my. Alert the media. What a surprise there. Well, really two mistakes in three holes. The, the shank and then that short miss. B. Park contemplating what could have been. Let's take one more look. Hit the high side of the hole, but it did not fall. Three-way tie for the lead at minus 11 at Coalina. Welcome back to Coalina Golf Club. This is Yoju Kim at the 15th for birdie down the hill. Didn't think there was much break when I saw it come to rest, oh, and it wow. was dead straight. That's a beauty. That's her fifth birdie on the day. Back to 14. Hyoju Kim could just sneak up and win this, by she the way. very well could. And now IK Kim coming out of the rough. Not a good layup, as you mentioned, Jerry. No, just 125 yards. A little far away, but it looked like the signal was a 7 iron. I'm not sure. Ooh. Wow. Terry looked unsure. He had the other club out. I don't know what it was, but with this wind gusting up, it probably is the right club. So basically 120 yards to the front of the green. Yeah, 119 front, 125 hole playing. Oh goodness, it's probably playing 150 yards right now. She might go back to a six. It's the hardest thing in this game when visually it looks so short. But when you take into account the uphill and the wind, you have to add two to three clubs. Well, you don't want to come up short and running back down the fairway. By contrast, you don't want it on the upper tier either. Like that. Oh, boy. Mm, huge mistake. That is going to be so hard to two-putt from there. Shall we as this for a par 16th? <laughs> yeah. Last 
last year around the week of the yeah. swinging skirts, Michelle made time to see some of her old roommates from Stanford. Yes, it's uh, easy to forget that uh, Michelle managed to get a degree from Stanford whilst playing on the LPGA Tour. Not an easy feat. And winning a couple of times. Park. 86 yards, one just made a late switch, carries four wedges, might try and fly this a little past it, with spin, and it's going to have spin, oh nice, that's two excellent wedge shots in a row, such a big difference in the layout, you know, IK Kim makes that mistake and the ball's gone over the back of the green, Inby Park has less than 100 yards and she has a great chance for 30. one of the most overrated shots or underrated shots Jerry in the game is is a proper layup on a par five the hole from Paul Fusco I agree uh, Davis loves late father once told him when you're gonna play safe play it safe so if you're gonna lay up make sure you get it in the right position don't take it for granted when you're hitting a club that you'd rather hit more this is a uh, would be a tough shot without the wind the wind blowing in from the left is gonna allow this ball to sit down very quickly from inside 50 yards it's gonna need to She's lucky that didn't go any further. Still a less than satisfactory shot from that distance. This is Chala Choi up ahead at 15, second shot. 86 yards, this wind off the left, downwind, so hard to stop it with only four yards of green to work with. Oh, Karen, that. That's too bad, that's a good 40 feet away. It's for a par for Sandra Gall. She was in the greenside bunker and hit a very poor bunker shot. The 17th today is playing really tough. Much tougher than it has the last couple of days. Well, it's a fairly difficult hole location and the wind is coming hard from the right. Hugh Ju Kim is mounting a late charge here. Back to back bird is coming to the 16th. Oh, and she gets a helpful kick. That could have kicked left into the bunker and instead another birdie chance. Now, Hyo Ju Kim has a chance for a birdie. This was on the last hole right before she made the birdie putt. Getting some treatment on her leg. I wonder if she got bit by something. To me that would seem like a like an insect bite of some sort that you're trying to reduce the swelling, but I can't. Don't know for certain. We'll see if we can get some word on what that is specifically. Interesting. It hasn't seemed to have hurt her golf. <laughs> no. Now, I.K. Kim, this is so difficult here, isn't it, Jerry? Oh, my goodness, she gets to stand in, too. She is Houdini. This is so quick, and it's going to turn so far to the left. The further she hits it when it gets to that lower tier, the further she hits it right, the more it will turn. Looks like she's aiming about 20 feet to the right. Yes. She makes this. She gets a free game. Nice. Still needs to sit down. Yeah. Look like pretty good speed. Kind of expected it to end up down there. IK Kim has made so many good putts for pars today, and she's got to make another one there at the 14th. At the moment, tied with Se Young Kim and Inby Park, both of whom have birdie putts to come. 
in B with the shorter birdie putt. Over at 15 now, this is an adventure, to say the least, Karen. It really is, Mark. It's downhill, but it's going to break quite significantly to the left. The wind's going to keep pushing it, and it is from long range, but she's missed from shorter. You never know. Maybe but this could be the one that gets her going. Still, though, four or five feet would be pretty good from here, wouldn't it? Absolutely, no question. I mean, that literally, she aimed that a good 10 feet right of the hole. Oh, went in the old hole. And that is a four footer, back to 14. Say young Kim for birdie. Turning left. She gave up on it early. Oh, the early walk, she was trying to walk it in. Uh, I think it, she gave up on it and then saw that it had a chance and was hoping, but she knew she didn't hit it. No harm though. Although you'd like to, like to take advantage of the par fives. And uh, she hasn't taken advantage of either one here on the back nine. Fortunate that neither her fellow competitors have either. But now MB Park has an opportunity for birdie. Before that, it'll be I.K. Kim trying to save Park. She has gone to the well a great many times today, and it hasn't run dry yet. This is a big ask right now. Huge gust of wind putting up the slope into the breeze, leaves blowing everywhere. Have to put that all out of your mind. Pick your spot and trust it. Yeah, just like the ball striking in the breeze, you have to hit a solid putt here. Crucial putt. I.K. Houdini Kim. You called it, Jerry. Wow. Yeah, if she does end up winning, the word destiny will be used a great many times in describing the victory. Well, she escaped there, having been in all sorts of trouble. And now Inby Park still has a chance to edge ahead by one shot. Little, uh, little right drift to this putt, Jerry? Yeah, a little bit. It's all about speed. The wind's going to accentuate the break a little bit. There's no question she's feeling the nerves inside. Doesn't demonstrate it. You never know by our body language. But she doesn't miss a putt like she did on the last hole and then have the shank before that two holes earlier without feeling it a bit. Looked in all the way. It's not the MB part that we've come to know on this back nine. She's really given the others an opportunity and they have managed to stay tied with MB. Both of them up on that 15th tee, surprised, I'm sure, by the gallery's reaction. This looked like a, a good putt. It just was carrying a lot of speed and was a harsh lip out. She did. Miss it on the low side. Say Young Kim's already on the tee here now, getting ready to go, trying to close the gap with the grouping ahead. The gap is closed. The group ahead is on the green. They are considered in position, so they might go back into normal routine now. And Say Young doesn't appear to be hurrying. It's a very short walk, of course, from 14 to 15. Try and power this one up the left edge. She likes it. Well, the wind's got it going a little right. Good bounce, though. Oh, that's fine. People standing back, please. Just stand still. Up ahead to 16. And this is Christy Carr. Christy inside the top 10 in a pretty good run of form, having won the Kia Classic at Aviar a few weeks ago. And that one, one of the best we've seen at the 16th. Should yield a birdie for Kerr, it would be her fourth birdie of the day. Back to 15. I cake him now with a driver. Oh, 
Starts up, up the left, fading back toward the center. Actually, a little too far now. Needs to sit down. That will bound on through into the rough and sits up like it's on a tee. Up to 18. And so young Lee trying to save par. And the goal is to be in the top 20 this year, and right now she is tied for 16th. A fine performance from So Young Lee. MB Park with her tee shot at 15. Turns this one up into the wind, so it held its line nicely right down the middle. It's Michelle Wee up at 17 from the left rough, drove the ball through the fairway. That is a beauty. Just won't quite get the bite that it needed coming out of the rough, but a chance for a three. Back at 15 now, Chella Choi. For a par, no, that was left all the way. What a time to miss one. Back to 16. This could be all important for Hyo Ju Kim. This to get within one of the lead. It's for three birdies in a row. Oh, steady on. Can get away from you pretty quickly here on these greens with the wind blowing in the final round of the Low T Championship. In the park, Se Young Kim, IK Kim, all time. Heading towards a conclusion here in Hawaii. Golf Channel and the LPGA Tour bringing you final round coverage of the Lotte Championship presented by Hershey, Imbi Park, I.K. Kim, Se Young Kim, Hyo Ju Kim, Chela Choi, all with a chance of winning here on Saturday afternoon. This was just a moment ago, Chela Choi for a bogey. Watch this, uh. doesn't even touch the hole. So she missed it twice from three feet or less. What a time to make a double. double. Yikes. Yeah, I will. There's how they stand, three-way tie. Park, Se-Young Kim, I.K. Kim, yeah, a little and that is I.K. Second shot here at 15. 102 yards. Very good lie, as you, uh, as you saw, Mark. Not an easy shot with that wind blowing straight across from the left. Not easy to get the ball close to this hole location. Well, this isn't. He's going to have to do it again. She's getting used to it by now, but I'm sure it's still not comfortable. <laughs> Yo Ju Kim trying to save par at the 16th. She's two behind. And that is a three pup bogey for Hyo Ju Kim, who had such great momentum coming into this par three, but now she falls three back. And her first bogey on the card. Pretty remarkable play up to that point. And now to the third Kim. None of them are related, but this is Se Young. Her second shot at 15 from the fairway. 89 yards. She can trap a little wedge here and get it to really spin and sit down next to it. And only about four paces beyond the bunker to the hole. Yeah, it's not easy. Can be done. This is right. That's not a good shot. No, it's too gonna much get better, effort. <laughs> she was working hard on that one. You could see it's going to get a little better. Jerry, I think it's just an, a visually intimidating and uncomfortable shot, even though it's a short yardage. Well, the way, anytime the hole's placed on the, what I call the upwind side of the green, which it is, even though it's essentially center, but on the front, that's the left side. It's Michelle Wee now for a birdie over 17. Great view from behind. It's wide left all the way. Doesn't break as hard as she thought. So even she having trouble having played this course more than anybody else in the field. NB Park now at 15, second shot. 52 degree wedge, 81 yards. 
was a perfect opportunity for her to stuff another one tight. It's a good one. Yeah. Ciao, bye. Good bye. So good with her wedges, and that's what the best in the game are. They hit it reasonably long, but they take advantage of that length by hitting good wedges. NB Park, Say Young Kim, IK Kim. It's a three-way tie when we come back to the final round of the Lotte Championship. We are back at the final round of the Lotte Championship presented by Hershey. Things are really heating up. Three-way tie. This is I.K. Kim for birdie at 15, long range. Yeah, down grain first, up grain there, then down grain again. And she's going to have to do the magic one more time. It's been quite a performance on the second putts. Up to 18. Sandra Gall to finish it off with a birdie. This will be for a round of... 68. Well, she bogeyed the 17th, but all in all, a really nice day of golf. Say Young Kim will try her chances now here at 15. This is not an easy one either, Jerry. No, I'm having a tough time getting a read on it. First instinct was it had to go a little left, but then the back of the green now, and I don't see much. It's not exactly it. A real quick putt putting back into the breeze, even though it is a little downhill. I like that little right to left break. We get there. That was a really good putt. So that'll be a safe four for, say, young Kim. Doesn't phase IK Kim much. Nothing does. I guess after you've missed a one footer to win a major championship. Nothing much will ever phase you again. Take a look at Say Young's reaction. She thought she made it. Missed on the high side, had a chance all the way. In B Park with a chance to take the outright lead. And that would be a special putt here, even though it's a very makeable putt for MB. But to shake off the memory of those last two short misses, this one turning a little left. Did she do it? Oh, just a little too hard. A little less uh, speed. That one turns right into the hole. Up to 18. And Michelle Wee playing the 72nd hole. No driver needed here. That would be too much. Not going to be a successful defense for Michelle, but it's going to be her best finish of the year, as long as she doesn't have a disaster here at the 18th. Yeah, you just want to hit like a 230, 40 yard shot. Everything gets about a 40 plus yard roll down that hill. So when Jerry was talking about, about five and a half feet, it looks like this for a par for IK. And a little slippery. Time and time again, she's delivered. Almost every time, once from off the green. Did it again. <laughs> it's just re un well incredible, actually. Good to see. Really good to see. In B Park, still with a little work left. Not much, but a little. Only made more difficult by the fact that it's the uh, 69th hole. And she's tied for the lead. of center and solid. I don't think you can miss it. I was going to say, she looks to me like she's trying to find a little break in it. You make it sound easy. But you look down at that putter sometimes and it's not exactly steady. It's okay. You, you rely on those countless number of two, three, and four footers you've hit in practice successfully. 
Errant drive for Hyoju Kim at 17. This is her second. Karen has made it over there. Having to send this one way out to the right of this whole location. Drifting back left. Oh, Ricochet's dead left. Could have kicked right, but did not. And that's going to find its way all the way down into the swale. So she's going to have to make some magic if she's going to save her par at 17. Three-way tie still. Back in the final round of the Lotte Championship at the 16th, the par three. Hole in one prize here. Nobody has managed to claim a brand new 2015 Acura TLX. We've got three shots remaining to drive away in that uh, very nice car. And that is brought to you by Acura of Honolulu. Say young Kim now. Made a late switch from a four iron to a five iron. If you remember back 24 hours, these three players all hit it to within very makeable birdie range. Much tougher shot with today's hole location. Easiest place to putt from is short right of the hole. This is left edge of the green. Ooh. That's not terrible there. Mm -mm. Not great, but not terrible. It's not going to be a very easy putt, but it's it's fairly manageable. Only one birdie among these three players on the entire back nine. That was Say Young back at number 11, where she almost drove the green. Let's quickly go to the 17th. Third shot now for Yoju Kim. Well, sitting up lovely in the rough, but being below the hole was tough to get that one close. Yeah, she's got a lengthy par attempt now, Karen. Not at all what she had in mind. After the tee shot, we go back to 16. And I.K. Kim. I think she was between clubs here, between her stronger hybrid and this, her five hybrid. Going with the five. And it's a tough call, Jerry, because ideally she'd like to stay short right of the flag stick, but she doesn't want to come up too short, wants to give it a legitimate opportunity. And if she wants to try and turn it over to hold the line, that will knock it out of the sky. She does not have the length to try that. Oh, and the hand comes off the club again. Yeah, it wasn't solid, but it's a good line. It's going to work out just fine. Oh, that's going to be ah, really good. That's a great miss. I.K. Kim, who has lived through the LPGA's horror story, if you will, of missing that short putt to win a major championship. You can't help but root from I.K. Kim to win again, and she has a chance to do it, but she's going to have to take down the very talented rookie Se Young Kim and this lady, N.B. Park. Going with her five hybrid, the exact club. Her dad talked her into putting in the bag for par three shots just like this. This is getting over to the right side of the green. Advantage I.K. Kim. On this very, very tricky final day, the final day here at the Lotte Championship, a Saturday, of course, Wednesday to Saturday event, the second of those in 2015 for the LPGA. They started with one at the Coates Golf Championship. Michelle Wee for a birdie, unfortunately not on the right tier at 18. A.K. Kim, even par for the day, and she has hung in there like a cat with nine lives. She's managed to uh, stick around, and just time and time again, she's made those par putts to remain in the hunt. And I.K. Kim up to the challenge presented by Prudential. And there have been so many of them today. This was at the ninth, at the seventh, excuse me, coming off that double bogey. She falls from off the green. It looked like she was going to have a really bad run there, but managed to uh, keep it intact. She birdied the next hole. This was at the 14th hole. And then a moment ago at the 15th for par. And there were others as well on this final day. She has hung in there trying to get the victory up to the challenge presented by Prudential. I mentioned it the other day. She spent last week, went to Vegas to revisit an old teacher that she'd worked with on her putting, Sam Park. 
obviously. Some things clicked. And that putter has kept her in it on this final day. She joked yesterday that she doesn't gamble anymore. She uh, lost $100 when she first went there playing roulette and will never gamble again. Yo, do Kim for par, Karen? This part should be really fast. I just watched Christy Kerr and Paula Creamer blow theirs way past from similar lines. Oh, it is fast, it is true. What a four. So Hyo Ju stays within three shots of the lead. Probably not going to win this championship, but. Racking up another top 10 finish. Absolutely. Back to 16. And in B Park will be first to go. Going with putter from just barely off the edge, of course. Why wouldn't she? It's a little uphill and a swing left early. We'll continue to die a little bit left after that. We've seen her do it before, Jerry. When it looks like she's just going to walk away with a three, suddenly MB Park dumps one in for a birdie right down the stretch. There's IK working on something with her putting. <laughs> Not sure what. Has she done it? Has she done it? Oh, oh, quite. Just uh, it looked like IK was working on trying to keep that nice triangle and get the proper um, road sort of tilt and rock with the shoulders, having that club across her chest. Should be a three for MB Park. She'll remain at 11 under. Say young Kim will be next, and uh, this is the first time all day she has chosen to pitch it or chip it from off the green when she could putt it. And I like the play. It takes out the majority of that early break that will swing it right. And, and conventional wisdom always was, if you want to get it close, putt it. If you're trying to make it, we'll fly the ball on the green and pitch it. She's trying to make this flag stick removed. It's going to roll a little right. I agree. I like the play, Jerry, but it's weird when you haven't done it all day to suddenly choose this way to, to hit the shot instead of the putt. into the green and just stubbed it. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like you kind of want to keep going with what's been working. Well, she uh, she doesn't change her game plan for the situation. She sticks to what uh, aggressive golf, and that was aggressive in the hope of trying to make it. Maybe just uh, coming into the grain a little bit. Just caught it a teeny bit. checked on her and sat down. She would have liked a little more hit and release. Well, IK Kim has a chance here to move ahead. Good chance. Maybe a little slippery. Not too bad. It's going to turn a little left. Can't remember her last makeable birdie putt. Birdie opportunity. It's been a while. Last birdie she made was at the eighth. from her right to left just a little bit you just have a feeling it's going to come down to one shot and this could be the difference maker to the left. But now the pressure is on Say Young Kim to remain tied with Park and IK. Is it feeling a little tenser out there, Jerry, or has it been pretty much the same atmosphere all day? Well, it is definitely a little more tense right now. Uh, been tense every hole for IK Kim trying to struggle for par and getting it done. This is a, you know, the first time in a while Say Young has really had to work for one. And it's not an easy putt breaking away from you. Uh, 
but 70th hole of a championship. NB trying to be NB and Say Young trying to be the first players this year to win twice, playing against uh, you know all fellow countrymen. It's it's pretty intense. Yeah, they none of them demonstrate it, but you can tell. You can tell by the body language and post shot reactions just how intense it is. youngster stays in touch with the two elder stateswomen. Should be routine now for IK, but uh, nothing I suppose is routine at this stage of a championship. No, the length she probably still has nightmares about. Yes, it was that length putt that kept her from winning a major. Hard to believe, hard to watch hard for her to get away from it unfortunately three threes for the final group of the 16th they move on to the very tricky 17th hole we'll take a quick break welcome back 71st hole of the championship say young kim on the tee at 17 Wind whipping from the right. She clubbed back a little bit. Didn't like the contact, but it's on a decent line up the left. It's going to end up down in that rough. Just depends on the lie, Jerry. Really important hole here, Jerry. You'd love to make a three if you were one of these players and take a one-stroke lead going to that 18th if you could. Yes, indeed. With that front left hole location, though, it's going to be a lot easier to give yourself a chance at three from the fairway. One of the toughest fairways to hit out here. This one starts on the right side. That's going to hold its ground and be nice, Jerry. I like that spot right there. Good flat lie. And NB Park will be next. Bunkers on the right are no good. She looks like she's going to try and take them on and carry them. I cannot believe it. Yeah, it seems like a weird play. She doesn't need that at all. Yeah, I'm not sure what the advantage is. She liked wherever it went. Well, it's a beauty. Hopefully she gets the, the number that she wants for a second shot into the 17th. So two balls in the fairway. One in the left-hand rough. Say Yun and Kim in the rough. There's Ai Miyazato who just finished putting out. She hasn't had a great day. We go up to 18. Hyoju came with her second. Left herself a long way back. It's from 168. Pretty impossible to keep it on that lower level with that club coming in, Karen. Yeah, she hit a five on K. Mm. And look back at that bogey at 16 that took her out of uh, potentially winning this championship and it would be her second victory of the year she won at the jtbc founders cup nb park is a winner already at the hsbc women's champions and say young kim who won the second event of the year in a playoff at the pure silk bahamas lpga classic five different koreans have won this year on tour there are currently 34 koreans playing on the lpga tour Kerr now is her second to the 18th. She has 138 off of a downhill lie, and even though she's significantly closer, this is still not easy. Just have to try and take advantage of that slope if you can and hope that you've just your club just right. Maybe land it like four or five paces on. Oh, yes. Karen, something just about like that. That was a tremendous shot, Kay. A little pep in her step as she walks up the 72nd hole, the winner of the Kia Classic, her first victory since the Kingsmill Championship in 2013. 
This was a moment ago at 17. Chella Choi for her birdie. Just made a terrible double bogey at the 15th. What a game. <laughs> you miss it twice from inside three feet and hold it from 20 down the hill. It's the kind of game that's going to drive you crazy, right? Eventually. Time now for the shot of the day presented by Volvic and the award goes to Chella Choi. This was at the third when she was beginning to make a run early in the day. No green to work with. Ooh. A little assist off the flagstick. Chella Choi with the shot of the day presented by Volvic. But I think it's going to be another near miss for Chella Choi. There have been so many. She's had 27 top 10 finishes, 14 top fives, and I think it's going to be 15 come the end of the day. Out at 17 now, this is the situation Jack Nicholas used to love, playing first into a green like this, put the pressure on the other players. I.K. Kim next. It's only 123 yards. Breeze in and from the right, mostly from the right. Jerry, the only way players have gotten it close here today at 17 is to hit a little holding sort of cut into that right to left wind. And she has done that every time it's needed. Not always pull it off, but she has always tried it and hit a few beauties in doing so. Like that. Ooh, thought it was going to be better. Thought it would land softer. Still a great shot. It's a nice shot in its proximity, but it, that is a very speedy putt from up there. In B Park now. Rewarded with a driver by getting a little bit closer to the green. I'm not sure it's much of a benefit. Well, it's 102 yards. What she did, though, is she hit about a three-quarter driver. That takes a lot, a lot of self-confidence to ease up on a driver to keep from going through the fairway. But just a smooth little pitching wedge. It should stay pretty low. Big gust right when she took it back. It's got that going left. Oh, that was a huge wow. gust at the wrong time. Bad timing. But a good lie. That's the good news. And playing a little bit back into the wind. So it's going to be a toughie, but not impossible. Let's take a look at her swing here. Always known for that, that slow take back. You said a la Kenny Perry. Real vertical. Kind of flattens it out a little bit on the downswing. Now, say Young Kim with a totally different shot from the left rough, Jerry. Eighty-six yards, tree not really an issue thanks to the wind. Otherwise, she would have to play a little right of the hole. Should bring it back in. Boy, it looks like it's it's more in the way than it is. Yeah, she's narrowly going to miss it on the right if she took a direct line. Sit. Down. Sit. Sit. That's a jumper. Oh, that's up where the hole was yesterday. She will have to muster every ounce of talent she has to two-putt that one from up there. So I.K. Kim in the best shape, say Young Kim, with a putt of at least 55 feet when we get back to the Lotte Championship. Welcome back. Final round of the Lotte Championship heating up in B Park with a tough bunker shot at 17. Short sided, only 40% up and down ratio this year. Zero for two in sand saves this week, and she'll struggle to change that stat. Bad timing to miss a green, Jerry. Bad break on the win. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lay that one on NB because she doesn't hit shots like that in that time, and that wind gusted big. Yoju Kim to finish with a par. Her first putt tragically short the hole. You'd have thought it would have got much further, but obviously very slow from the back of this green because that second putt wasn't overly aggressive either. It's going to be a round of 69 that uh, equals the low round of the day. 69 from Ayako Yuihara, 69 from Yoju Kim, Sandra Gal, and Shen Chen Fang. Okay, back at 17, I thought at first glance this putt was 55 feet. Now I think it's about 54. 
and a half. Very fast downhill initially, or pretty much the whole way down green, downwind. She will run to the ATT after two putts if she can do it. Yeah, hit it like a four footer. Oh, it broke right off that ridge. She did not see that at all, and that is going to be a very tough spot there. Not at all what she wanted to do. She had to get that ball down to the hole. These greens and conditions can make you look foolish. She'll get a look at IK Kim's putt, which is on a fairly similar line, but still, that's not the kind of par putt she wanted. <laughs> Up to 18. And Christy cut a finish with a birdie. This putt breaking to the right. Actually, it defies uh, logic there, Karen. It kind of goes away from the water a little. Be a top 10 finish for Christy Kerr. Let's go back to 17. I.K. Kim now for a birdie. Oh, this would really shrink up the hole for, say, Young Kim and NB Park and could be ballgame if she makes it. I don't see much breaking it at all. left all the way and that is going to wander way by not a good effort there so a little bit of nerves i think we're seeing here now jerry yeah without question take a look at that one that is now six feet by the hole nb park of course has i'm going to say nearly 18 feet for her par and say young kim probably seven or eight from above the hole who would have thought they all three would have testy, lengthy par putts? Back in the fairway, Jerry thought we'd all, we'd see them have this length putt for birdie. Yeah, it is final round, 17th hole. They are human. This one's got to go a little left. Oh, did she do it? In B Park, what a putt for a par. Looked like she was maybe going to be trailing. And now, conceivably, if the other two putts don't fall, she could be leading. What an up and down out of that mm. bunker. <laughs> and that's, that's typical in B. Just never out of it. Doesn't let one shot affect the other. Jerry, this has not been a very easy putt to read today. No, no, the read I have is just based on IK's putt, which had way too much speed, but it just seemed to drift, uh, drift an inch to the right. The problem is it's so hard to put a positive stroke on such a defensive putt here, because if you do miss it, it doesn't take much speed, as IK demonstrated, to run six feet by. She is clutch. Amazing golf, amazing. Two putts you wouldn't have give, given either player a chance to hold, and they both have. Nice to see that raw emotion and probably more relief than anything that she got away with a par on that hole. Look like it might just fade a little bit to the right at the end and sneaks in the right corner. Good pace. Thank you. Okay, IK Kim now trying to stay in a three way tie for the lead with one hole to play. And she go to that well one more time. Oh. 
No, that was probably the worst stroke we've seen her make all day long. Pulled all the way, so she will fall a shot behind. That's her uh, second three putt today. The double bogey that she had was a result of her being too frisky on the par putt and missing a comebacker. We've seen very hard to make a birdie on this last hole. Let's take one more look back here at 17. NB Park had the first par putt. This from 18 feet. Little breaker to the left. She makes it. Unlikely par with a tough bunker shot. Then say Young Kim. She yeah. makes it right on top. I.K. Kim failed to do so, and she now trails by one. Two-way tie at the top as they play 18. And as we mentioned before, uh, the key here, Jerry, is uh, not to go too far down this fairway. I think the players have learned, Jerry, by now that there's an extra 35-40 minimum rollout. Yeah, depending on the ball flight, absolutely. You're just trying to sense it and feel it here. You can't play a number. It's down the right center. It was hit solidly. Well, she gets right up and just hits it. Not a lot of... That's got to oh. sit down. That is in the water. Goodness. What a mistake. Well, we talked about it. The ball can just run out down there, and that just looked like it pitched on concrete. And I'm not so sure she has any idea Zero. that her hopes of the tournament have fallen into the bottom of the water. Zero idea that's in the water. Wow. And the others won't know either. This one's hit very solidly as well, and it's going to run for a while down the middle. They are absolutely getting turbo kicks here. Watch out. That could be in the water, too. Oh, 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 oh. That well. goes a little more to the left where there's a little more run out and thicker rough that's held that up. Say Young's went in further to the right where, where the water cuts in a little shorter. And that opens the door up slightly for I.K. Kim. But she, you got to think Jerry's going to need to make a birdie That's here. That's exactly what she's saying. She has no idea either of those balls are in trouble. One in the water, one not. That's down the right side. A little softer should be fine, but it is going to get a huge kick. A huge turn of events. That massive first bounce for Se Young Kim. The ball finds the water advantage in B Park here on the 72nd hole. Se Young Kim walking down the 18th hole. There's a bit of glare into their faces, and she is uh, trying to find out where her ball is finished. She's going to get some bad news very shortly that the ball is in the water. I see a little flag down there where the uh, marshal has indicated where it crossed. And that's not a good feeling. Especially when you've just striped a tee shot, Jerry, under enormous pressure. For Caddy knows. You can see the look on his face walking up there, seeing no ball. She's yeah, figuring it out now. Yeah. If you'll come in. In the park, realizing that uh, you can see, look at the angle there, that ball. Could easily have found the water if it had been 10 yards to the right. She had about 10 more paces of rough that slowed it down just enough. What a shock. Well, heartbreak there for Say Young Kim. Crossing over to She'll have the option to take it as far back as she wants, keeping the point at across the line between her and the hole. Get out of the thicker rough. We're going to have a little bit of a wait 
because uh, Chella Choi and her group still have to finish up. This is Chella for a par. She hung in there so nicely. Two birdies on the front nine, par after par on the back nine until the dreaded double at 15. at the 17th. All in all, it will still be a good week for Chella, but not the win that she was hoping for. I've talked about it haven't we? many times, her father there on the bag, and he wants to be there for her first victory, but she's been out here for seven years and hasn't come yet. She's had so many chances and fallen at the final hurdle. And will he get the chance to see his daughter win on the LPGA Tour whilst carrying the bag? might end up having to do it from outside the ropes. And maybe that'll be the, the tonic. Maybe that will be what Chella actually needs to take the pressure off a little bit. Jenny Shin still has to finish up, and it's a disappointing day for Jenny Shin. She had a, a chance to win here with a good final day, but she fell back early with three straight bogeys right out of the gates. And four over par for this final round. Jenny Shin will not be collecting her first LPGA Tour victory this week, I'm afraid calls Southern California home, lives in Buena Park, which is outside the LA area. And she had a chance to win the swinging skirts last year, playing in that final group with uh, Stacey Lewis and Lydia Ko. She held says she prefers playing in California, so next week, who knows, it could be her week. Held her own against uh, some good players. been working on her game relatively recently with James O, who, uh, if memory serves me right, was at the time the youngest to win on what is now the web.com tour. And then gravitated from competitive golf into teaching. 76 on the final day for Jenny Shin, and that puts her at the moment into uh, a tie for seventh. Meanwhile, see young Kim back there figuring out the numbers. Beautiful finishing hole. Dramatic in it, the way it looks and very difficult in the way it plays. Yeah, you wonder what else say young Kim could have done there. I mean, obviously she could have hit an iron, but uh, she just had no idea that that ball was going to explode on the first bounce. Maybe a lot of players, when they get in contention, and haven't been there a lot, that extra adrenaline kicks in and perhaps she just had a little bit too much hit on that shot. Or like you said, maybe she should have gone to a four or, four or five iron, but it, it really seemed to run 50, 60 yards. And Imbi Park almost had the same problem and the amount of experience that Imbi has in that sort of situation, and she almost made the same mistake. Chella Choi, it'd be nice to see her finish up here. Doesn't want to uh, give away any money on the 18th hole. <laughs> it's going to be a round of 72 for Chella Choi, the bogey at 18. Puts her in a tie for fourth place finish with Hyoju Kim. had a tied for fourth place finish at the Australian Open earlier this year. And not a good day for Aimee Zato, played quite nicely yesterday. Uh, and that's been her issue, is actually the two foot putt. She's okay, three foot and longer, but really having a hard time with the sh real short ones. Yes. Yeah, been a struggle over the last few years for Ai Miyazato, who is going to finish uh, inside the top 20, and that will not be her best finish of the year. But not good times. Back to the fairway, and I K Kim, and this needs to be really good, Jerry. Well, she has to get fancy here. She uh, has 153 yards of the hole, 147 front down. Gale right now, no chance of hitting an iron. I don't believe that can hit on the front level and stay there in birdie range. So she is going to try and do something with her five hybrid 
and get some elevation to it and maybe work it a little bit left to right back into the wind and take a chance here. It's six iron would be plenty of club, maybe even seven. She's got to try something to get it to stop. It's right of the hole. And ending up right of the green. Yeah, that came in so hard and it's towards the back part of that bunker near the lip. That will be a testy shot. Well, these two really handing it to Inby mm. Park. And at the moment, seemingly all Inby needs to do is make a par, but you never know. That's not a given. Se Young Kim has taken her drop. Say young, I'm assuming to play next here, Jerry. It is. Really it's needs to use her strength and her ability to compress this ball to her advantage right now. Not easy. Downwind is going to have so little spin on it. Downhill live where she dropped it right at 127 yards. It's going to take some magic just to leave it on that bottom level and have something you can make for par. It is a club she can spin though. Pitching wedge is a signal so she can open it up a little and really give it a little extra, create that spin. Needs to go. We did, it just did. Yeah, not easily makeable, but there's a there's a chance. Oh, she still has a chance. I mean she can make four. But that was close. And probably the most ugly swing that we've made seen her make today. Now MB Park needs to find the green here. 116 yards with a gap wedge, ball lying down grain so you can generate a little more spin and a pretty decent line. So let's get this in the air though. Sometimes the wind knocks these down a little bit. This will be fine. Oh wow, I did not see that. No guarantee of a two putt par from that position. Young Kim looking to win for the second time in her short LPGA career. Started the day with a one shot lead at 12 under. MB Park was two back. IK Kim just one behind. And uh, it's been a real battle against the elements and each other on this final day of the Lotte Championship. Still difficult to uh, predict a winner. I think MB is in the driving seat, but. Uh, she has to negotiate that bridge in the green. So young Kim, if she doesn't win here, we'll look back at that tee shot that finds the water. She has a very a veteran caddy on her bag, and I'm sure he gave her the number that she needed to hit off the tee, and no way of knowing it would roll out that much. NB, the winner in Singapore at the HSBC Women's Champions. Bogey free for 72 holes. Yes, Remarkable week of golf. It was an incredible stretch. She uh, Hello, so played 92 Aloha. consecutive holes in all without a bogey. With the warm Aloha, in the pot. And she will try to avoid a bogey here. Uh, two putts give her a really good chance of winning the Lotte Championship without a playoff. Jerry, is I IK going to be first down there? She is, and it's toast. Mm. Uh, just to get it on the green and take a great shot, she has to really modify her backswing, pick it straight up try and still keep that club face open so basically break the break the wrist of the hands like the club's coming straight to your nose and then chop down on it try not to hit the hosel and just get it on that top level let it run down it's a horrible break 
Looks like she's thinking of a place right there just on the green, just past the fringe. Okay, Kim, who looked in tremendous position walking down to the green at 17, but three putts led to a bogey, and now this is somewhat of a disaster. Can she provide the magic once again? This is a shot you just don't practice very often, this awkward stance with water looming. Well, she will have to hold that putt and hope that both Imbi Park and Se Young Kim make bogey. It's all about getting comfortable and getting your legs out of the way. Slide that club underneath. She braced herself nicely. Well, technically, MB Park has a putt to win the championship here, Jerry, but I'm not so sure if she's thinking about holding it too much. You never know with her, but the uh, easiest way to try and two putt, but the easiest way to two putt is to try and one putt. It's not an easy putt, obviously, down to that lower level. Might go a little left early, then it'll hit the tier and slide right and continue to slide right. It is a putt, though, that I understand Hill Ju Kim left some 12 feet short a couple of groups ago. She did. So there's, it, it's a very hard putt to figure out the correct speed. There's one person who you'd put your money on figuring out the correct speed K. We're looking at her. Yes. Is it going to be a piece of magic on 18? Well, that is tremendous from Indy Park. She is going to wait to tap in. Remember, it doesn't guarantee her the title just yet. But it does mean that uh, I.K. Kim's run of not being able to... Uh, Gain a victory on the LPGA Tour will continue. Having had such a great chance here, in it all the way to the 17th. Yep, that three putt at 17 did her in. Must be must be a great sense of satisfaction for MB Park on what has been a tough day, but it's not over yet. A young pitching this one, wisely so. Didn't do too good last time on 16, but this one's not lying into the grain, an easier pitch. Well, she has to hold it. young lady who is going toe to toe with one of the best players in the game can't help but think she deserved that after the bad luck off the tee shot now IK Kim for a par but it is going to be Mistakes at 17 and 18 for IK Kim that proved to be so costly. I 
you said it about Se Young Kim. We talked about how um, Jerry talked about even when she shot her 75 at the ANA, she never gave up. She kept battling. And if you have that kind of intestinal fortitude and strength, it's going to pay off in the long run. Well, I.K. Kim taking a time here, but she does have a little room to play with if she's going to finish third, even if she misses this shot. And that is not what she wanted. The 5-5 five, five finish for I.K. Kim, and she is not able to get the job done. Inby Park will tap in, and we will have a playoff between Inby Park and Se Young Kim. At the Lotte Championship, both finishing at 11 under par. A round of 73 for Se Young Kim, a 71 for MB Park. They'll head back to the tee at the 18th hole and do it all over again. Wow, what a finish. Remarkable. Chipping in to get into a playoff with MB Park. And her this third shot moment. barely cleared the water. I love her emotion. So they will sign their cards, make sure everything is correct and head back to the 18th tee. We've got a playoff coming up at the Lotte Championship. We are back on the island of Oahu this Saturday evening on the east coast of the United States but the final round of the Lotte Championship and it's not over yet. MB Park and Se Young Kim are going to play off here. Wow, what a finish. Say Young chipping in to force a playoff with MB Park. What she had to her advantage on that last shot is there. It, the putt or the remaining shot didn't matter. So it was sort of that real true match play situation. She had to, had to make it. The 17th hole was one of the most difficult on the golf course today and uh, really anything could have happened here. Imbi Park was struggling to make a par. She holds that part for a four. All three players were struggling to make par. Left her birdie putt this far short. Starts leaking to the right. Just catches the edge. The young Kim made four, MB Park made four. Se Young Kim was in the water off the tee at 18 and just was short of the green with her third shot. MB Park, it's a tremendous pump for birdie on 18. This was to win and it wasn't far away from going in. Perfect example of her talents on the putting green with difficult putts. And then Se Young Kim had to make this to force a playoff and in it goes. <laughs> I just love the sheer joy and that reaction after a disappointment 10 minutes earlier discovering that her ball was in the water off the tee shot. And then Gallo behind. Well, some might call it justice because she didn't expect the ball to go into the water off the tee. She didn't hit a bad shot. Inby Park ball could easily have gone in as well. Absolutely not a flinch, no reaction from Indy. <laughs> Stoic as usual. <laughs> and they will scoot back to the tee at the 18th. Say so Young Kim has been in six playoffs in her career on the LPGA and the KLPGA. She's won five of them and lost one. MB Park is uh, three and two in uh, playoffs. So both players have had plenty of experience, but you would think that MB Park may have the advantage just because of the fact that she um, has so much experience on the LPGA Tour and playing at such a high level. Definitely, when you've won 13 times and you have five major championships under your belt, there's really nothing you haven't seen. And she's won in every manner. 
she has that confidence of being in the highest pressure situations and pulling it off. Play 18, two times if necessary. If we are still tied, we'll come back, play 16, 17, 18 in that order. Um, uh, Say Young, I'm gonna let you draw first. That is both the order that we'll play in. From the LP gym. First, okay. Just make sure you identify your golf ball. 18, 18, 16, 17, 18. I'd have to say right now, in this very moment, though, I'd put the advantage to say on Kim because she thought perhaps she was out of it with the ball in the water, and then to have that big swing in her favor, making the chip. Now she also ha doesn't really have anything to lose because she's going up against the person that, quote, should win. Karen Stupples will be uh, calling the shots for Say Young Kim, and I suppose, Karen, now there may be a little bit of an, well, indecision in her in her mind because she hit the club that she thought was right the first time around. It went into the water, and now she's got an iron. And I think that definitely is the prudent play. The thing about this tee shot is that you want to get it down there as far as you possibly can, but, you know, as we saw before, the water is, is just too dangerous. This really is a safe play. This is going down the middle of the fairway, Tom. And as you can see, it's landing much softer, not as hot a club as she hit the first time. And Jerry Fox will be calling the shots of Indy Park. Well, Say Young carries a four iron, hit her only hybrid into the water in regulation, so that was her next longest club. NB, now her longest iron is a six iron. That's not enough, so I think she's clubbing back to the five hybrid here. Starts off down the right side, right center, maybe right edge of the fairway. And these two have played every single hole of this championship together. So I'd say by now they're probably pretty comfortable, and especially for Se Young Kim. Equidistant off the tee in this first playoff hole of the Lotte Championship. Back in the sudden death playoff. The Lotte Championship yeah, in the uh, Park versus Se Young Kim. Both of them in pretty good positions off the tee. Right, who's first to go here? They have to uh, toss a coin here, Karen. Judging by the marks on the fairway, Tom, it should actually be Se Young Kim. She's just two paces back from the painted mark. And Imbi looks like she's maybe just one pace back from that painted mark. I have Sion Kim at 154. Such a tough shot this with the wind howling. So difficult to judge. So 148 to the front needs to just carry it a couple past that front number. The one thing that is in her favor, Kay, is that if she is on down grain grass, which will make contact really very easy. Yeah, both played this 18 hole and one on the. She's using an eight arm. Do you like that? I think the eight's plenty. Yeah, that, I would say. She probably wants it this about one, <clears throat> 150, and probably only playing 130, 135 maybe. Expected that finish. A chip in the playoff, and she holds out. <laughs> they don't even know it for sure.
one of the most exciting finishes we've ever seen. And two remarkable shots from Se Young Kim. And how about MD? She hasn't done anything wrong. Good night, says Se Young Kim. They don't even know for sure. They're asking, is it real? Did it go in? Yeah, Brad was asking me if it went in. One yard closer, 153. This in nine iron, and my goodness. Well, she's got a whole list to continue the playoff. Got a chance. It's not going to be, and it's over. <laughs> Se Young Kim, is she going to bring some excitement to the LPGA Tour or what? Just about the most dramatic finish to a tournament I've seen in quite some time maybe that we've ever seen. <laughs> you think of Kari Webb holding out of the a, a inspiration, but this young lady chipped in and then holds out. Thank you, Sam. It took <laughs> phenomenal shots to beat the great MB Park. All right, say Young, uh, the craziest ending. Is that the craziest ending you've yeah. ever experienced? Well, uh, I feel... I don't believe it there, but what happened there? I'm um, just, well, I'm very, I, I'm still unbelievable right now. <laughs> yeah. The chip in, in regulation, uh, you had to be as nervous as ever over that. Yeah, so I, uh, I try to only focus on um, getting the hole because I don't have a chance, only that chance, so only focus getting the hole. So, did it, <laughs> yeah. All right, go get that lucky ball, and you got a lot of people waiting up for you. We can't believe what we saw. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This was it. 154 yards, 8 iron. <laughs> she was just about as stunned as everybody else. She doesn't even know what's really in. She. You can't tell by that crowd reaction if it's just close or if it's in. Yes, it was a thing of perfection. It rattled around. And boom, there it is. Wow, she had three lip ins in the last three shots. That par putt at 17 that caught the edge and went in the chip in in regulation, and now that hole out from the fairway. She's going to carry these memories with her for many, many years. I guess there's no doubt she uh, can win from the lead. Right, she came into this final day with the lead, saying that she feels more comfortable attacking from behind. Well... She's managed to get the job done when leading heading into the final day, but it took some heroics at the end. Next week, we head to the swinging skirts. Se Young Kim will go there as the big story, and she deserves it, picking it out of the hole. Well, well, well. We'll try to catch our breath here as Se Young Kim celebrates her second LPGA Tour victory and she moves to second in the race to the CME Globe, facing Lydia Ko, who will defend next week at the Swinging Skirts. Our coverage will begin on Thursday, live on Golf Channel. Wow, what a finish. I think we'll be seeing that highlight for many days, weeks, months, even years to come. Worth the wait. Thanks to our entire crew here at the Lotte Championship, led by producer Beth Hutter and director John Del Vecchio. Kay Cockrell, Mark Rolfe, Jerry Fox, Karen Stuffles, and myself, Tom Abbott. It's goodbye from the Lotte Championship, where Se Young Kim holds out in a playoff to win at Coalina. This has been a presentation of the only worldwide network dedicated to the game.
Golf Channel, part of NBC Sports.